Sure, by the way, not just for uh, for the streamer, for the people in the stream, but also for myself. <laughs> this is a best of five, and so the first game it's going to be uh, in agreement for who's going to pick. Uh, I mean, what the matchup is, and then it's going to be uh, the winner picking the sieve in the first uh, in the second game, and then it's going to be alternating switching. So, yeah. So we got uh, Dutch versus India on our hands. I like this matchup actually, but. I feel that recently it's going to be very tough for India, you know, with uh, the, the changes in the bank and the XP and the, the way the, the fast uh, age up of Dutch. Yeah, I mean, so so this was actually the first matchup of the finals for the previous tournament, uh, H2O versus Raphael. Uh, okay. Raphael picked Dutch and H2O went India and uh, Raphael managed to take out that first game, but, but he did it with a... Um, he went for a trading post in, in age one and then uh, sent the colonial militia, which kind of gave I him see, a yeah. defense. So, so we'll have to see. Do you reckon, is Stanley a, a CM guy? Um, I'm pretty sure he knows about it. He doesn't like to use it like that much in general, I would say. But just to quickly uh, get the full perspective here, did he use CM like after a seaport rush or did he use it like preemptive? Uh, preemptive, uh, straight okay. out of the gate. It was free, free those colonial militia. Okay, just like it's better safe than sorry, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we got a. What start is that? Crikey. All right, it's not a wood start anyway. The trees are blocking it. <laughs> okay, here. No, it's. Yeah, no, not a wood start. Just like one foot grid for that. Yeah. I think that's a food yeah, start. Exactly. The thing is, I, I can never figure it out because sometimes they, they start without a crate. I think there's a, there's a spawn where you, you don't get any random crate. No, but the Dutch otherwise would have started with all coin and wood. So this is this is food start. Oh, yes. for sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Food start. Which actually so, I think is probably then a little bit better for India. Do you know? Um, may, maybe though. I think India always kind of wants that extra wood crate if possible. Uh, yeah, food is the second choice. So yeah, that, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. Like more like yeah, of course the wood crate is the best, but ah, I compare the wood crates. I I don't think Stanley's gonna care. Look look at this treasure he's picking up. Yeah, he's gonna take a lot of damage. Yeah, but uh, a villager at, at just over a minute—that's that's a stunning start because um, that vill is going to translate into like at least maybe eighty food by the time he ages up anyway. So so it's a it's a vill and like an extra eighty food as well. And that's actually quite important because he will for sure be aging up with fourteen vills with no idle time then, which is huge because you can just get your banks in faster and your defense ready for the Indian uh, rush or possible rush. But then again, look at this—the Indian guy is going to get ninety coin, which is also a nice bonus, although not paying off right away. Yeah, um, so I'm kind of expecting that King probably going to play this out pretty standard. So we're going to be seeing that forward Agra four. I, I don't expect we're going to be seeing any Carney shenanigans. Well, um, what do you uh, think about standard then? Like, do you think that the standard is still uh, a super rush in, in this matchup? Because I feel that I'm not sure like how much you can really do with that versus Dutch in this case. I don't think it's the best choice. Uh, you so so you. I think you've got to put on some some aggression. You can't let Dutch sit there and, and get all those banks up and and get their defense. Like I think you've got to go in pretty hard. Um, sure. So sometimes sure the sepoy don't get much done, but like if you can force certain shipments out, um, if you can somehow get like an eight pike shipment out of the Dutch guy, then you know even if you only uh, kill maybe one villager, that's already like a win. Get forcing the eight pike shipment, but yeah, you. I mean, you can't just let Dutch Dutch boom away. You, you yeah, make some timing. I, I feel you there. It's it's, it's kind of hard to just let Dutch go away with whatever they want to do. But then again, if you push in with Sepoy and he has his skirms ready, plus minute men and town center fire, I feel it's going to be way worse of a trade compared to going for a little more eco. Yeah, yeah. I, I find uh, I find it really tough. Like I haven't played this matchup lately, but yeah. Well, well, that's I mean that's the thing about this matchup. So like India has to get some kind of damage done. Um, <laughs> but it's not always easy to. I hit two. We go. He's, I like this. Uh, two fills, yeah. Do, yeah. Uh, so, so this is becoming more and more common, um, especially against a civ like Dutch that has the envoy and the explorer. And it seems that um, Stanley's only scoured this one vill. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is a really good job. You, of course, you lose some villager time, like gathering time. But then again, you have to make sure you get your aggro down. So you have to really send two villagers just to make sure you get your aggro on time. Otherwise, you're going to be like so far behind. Dutch bread is better yeah. than dominoes. And, uh, I, Yes, I'm not sure Stan Stanley's detected this yet, but um, I guess he can figure figure out what's going on. I actually, his, his envoy is probably going to come across the. Uh, the yeah, aggro now. he's going he's going to find it now. He's doing a good job with scouting. He kind of knows that there should be an aggro somewhere, especially if you see one villager already. It's not going to be a, a fake carny in the back or something. I mean, not likely. So he was going uh, around the map with his envoy to find out where the aggro would be. So yeah, good yeah. job. 
Yeah, so that so that was pretty well done by both players. They're they're doing exactly what they needed to. Uh, Dutch needed to get out and try and de- delay that aggro, or at least uh, confirm and, and scout where it is. And uh, so King's got his two elephants yes. chilling next to a trading post site. I, I like that a lot as well. I think I think this could be a variation where you like try to get the eco with the trading post rather than just eco uh, to get your things like rolling rolling faster. Yeah, or it could be a variation of a rush just because you have a trading post to ship more stuff, but not sure yet. Yeah. Immediately scouted, though. Uh, Stanley sees it just as it's going down. I have to say that, by the way, um, Stanley did play quite some India, so it might be that he was kind of expecting this and just scouting to make sure. You know, like you have to make sure you know everything your opponent is doing so you know what might be coming and you can better adapt to it. Meanwhile, yeah. by the way, at the other side, we see that the bank, of course, for Stanley's up. He has reached age two. But there's there's no military. But mm. oh, okay, so he's going for another bank. Yeah, I think yeah, I think this this is something like he has to. Like, why would you put your military building up already? I, I believe this is much better. Yeah, d- well, it depends what build you're doing. So he's, so if you're going for the 700 wood build, then sure you can delay it. But um, some sometimes we see uh, the bank wagon coming out. But I guess because because he scouted like the aggro, it wasn't super fast or anything. We can see uh, King still hasn't aced up, and it, you know it's over five minutes. So um, that's probably why Stanley kind of felt comfortable that yeah he didn't need a military building right now, and you, you know he could do the 700 wood uh, uh, build pretty safely based based on the age up time that he scouted from. King. Yeah. And he is not going like the full eco build because he's now making the Rex. He could have made like a bank before the Rex, but he chose to make the Rex already. I think that is a really good choice because he knows there's still Nagra. So you don't want to, you know, get overwhelmed, get surprised. So it's better to have some skirms out on time because otherwise you won't have your next batches on time if they come in with a seaport push with elephants tanking. Yeah. But look at this. Uh, he's trying to pick the treasure with a veil, but he was too late. <laughs> <laughs> so King is going to get it. Very nice. Uh, Stanley adding a third bank. So his eco is going to be in a great shape. And I think King is... Go- All right, yeah, so we've got a... He is a rushing. C- is that, that's 10 C boys. Yeah, so he made only three instead of... Yeah, exactly. He made only three. And yeah, this is surprising, actually. However, uh, four, four banks for Stanley in the market. So at the moment, he's got nothing. And it, it, I mean, if he can only get out five skirms here... I, I like, by the way, where the elephants are positioned. They are going on the left side because he knows the skirms are going to be coming out from the left side of the rack, so he can immediately go on them. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, but he moved he moved them away, though, yeah. so like, the skirms are going to get a couple of few shots. He, so he doesn't actually have resources for Minutemen right now, so um, he needs an extra coin. Um, okay, so he's got he it now if, not, yeah. wish, if he wishes to call him, but he's just kiting at the moment. Um, I guess he doesn't necessarily need to. He, I mean, he's trading quite well. He's getting lots of volleys, some, some pretty decent micro. Ta- the town center is taking some out. Yeah, he finally takes out the second elephant with his town center. I felt that was could have been a little bit faster, uh, so, so he wouldn't be delayed as much. But then again, look at this. He's doing a good job microing away from the sepoy, and this is just going good for him. Like, it, look at how he traded. Five skirms and two elephants for just five sepoys. Yeah, and, and more importantly, he still kind of has those Minutemen available. Um, so it was an interesting choice. Uh, I guess he could have called them there, and I, you know, I would have been fine with that as well, but um, still saving them, having them in the bank. Uh, that's going to be useful later on. And the eight, so, okay. Eight well, he ships eight pikemen, so he's expecting the four sours, I guess. That is really interesting. I mean, you can, of course, put them in cover mode, but they're not really like the most useful unit at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I suppose because King went for that TP, um, Stanley knows there's a lot of shipment potential. Yeah. So the so the four sours could kind of. Oh no! You don't want to fight. Oh, that was. That <laughs> <Not> was <one>. close. <laughs> what? Why did the Minutemen come out though? Actually, yeah. This, well, oh, I, I think he he like fully expected King to co- to commit there, and he just you know wanted to make sure that he couldn't. But I agree, it's a little bit preemptive. Like, why would you send it out already? By the way, I really like that his scout was standing there like in the middle here all the time, scouting everything that was coming out. So. I'm not sure why he called the Madman so early, I agree. It's weird. By the way, meantime, in the meanwhile, we see that uh, King of Osman has put up his market there in the back, so transitioning a little bit. By the way, he's transitioning with 600 boot. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't bait me on that one. Okay, Sorry, okay. 600 wood, fantastic shipment. So I've, either way, it's allowed him to get up his consulate and the stable, and so we can see he's uh, shipped the diplomatic intrigue for under export, and he's allied with the British consulate. So, um, so I think... Uh, uh, there's 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 no vils. It's going to be the red coats. Um, we'll probably get a batch from the stable. Uh, oh, what's the villager oh, in the center? Yeah. <laughs> so that's 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 a typical in India problem. Uh, a- any Indian player will know. And it, it so it survived. That's pretty good. It's walking away with, with half its life. Uh, I don't know what it saw, but um, well yeah. well done. By the way, we we see that Stanley now ships seven hundred food, so he's definitely going to age up. 
Uh, keep in mind, if he wouldn't have sent the 8 pike with 700 wood first, he would already be in the third age, which is probably a little bit of a better spot. But then again, he just wanted to make sure that he's safe. I really hope he can hold out long enough, uh, because yeah, of course I'm now there will be camels on the way as well. That's that's the thing. Like, I'm wondering what this next shipment from King is, because is it going to be four sours and then like a batch of five exactly, sours come? And yeah. How does that's a lot of units, and you know we we got the bonus from the British consulate, so these sepoys have got 209 HP, and at the moment we can see Stanley's got eight pikes, like six dead Minutemen, pretty much. And, and, yeah. You know, oh, he's going to make a few walls though, so it, like he's going to make the full castle here. So if he can, actually, it might be worth to make like another wall just to buy yourself some more time because that's all he needs. There's only three sours out from his I, batch. I think four's coming. Yeah. But there's four from yeah, the shipment exactly. So. Uh, I mean, King is hitting the exact timing he needs to hit. Like, like if uh, if King kind of had the could see the whole map, like he w he would go now anyway. And, yeah. Uh, oh, this this so uh, yeah, this wall. Uh, yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. He's gonna get a couple. Of I would have liked to see like one more wall probably on the left side, but then again, he is buying himself a lot of time. He should keep poking. But look at this. Like, if he if he can go back and ship nine worthy, he could still be fine. I think. Yeah, the, the only issue for um, Stanley is I'm not sure he has a shipment on on the way because he shipped the yeah. seven hundred. So, so yeah, don't be expecting nine Reuters to be coming out right now. But um, so the sours are on on the vills. I, I really like that he's using his vills there to just block it off. He only needs to hold. That's everything he needs to do. Five like, more scams. Reuters on the way, taking on exactly the sours on the left side. Though, though the, the the elephant resurrected uh, it could get into clutch stomps. I'm wondering what this town center is focus. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure if he's focusing fire with his if he's using focus fire with his town center on, on the camels, yeah. but. He's, he's not got enough. Um, I, I thought Stanley was doing quite well, but a lot of King's Seaboys were hiding behind the bank. Well, the so so uh, Stanley does actually have a shipment on the way yeah. now, which he's absolutely going to need. Um, it's going to be the nine worker, I think. So yeah, he's yeah, he's yeah, focusing yeah. as much as he can on, on the cav here. On, on, uh, sorry, on the Seaboys. Yeah. Um, There's a three camel wedge. Yeah. Sorry. No, I, I think I think it might be okay. Uh, look, look at that reinforcing batch from King. Ten Seaboys and three more sours. That's, that's pretty big. Yeah, but then at the same time, like he, I think Stanley is still fine to be honest. I, I yeah. would. The, so the problem for Stanley is he's got no food income. So. The, um, yeah, but you got you can still trade a little bit. Like, look, he's still making scrims, and he can exactly fit right between the mine and the market. He can just oh, kite away forever now. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, he goes go straight through. He can bring the Reuters round. Exactly. Uh, this is this is really nice building placement. Like perfectly, perfectly in enough space for him to walk out. He should probably make a gate or just walk around it. But he's doing a good job kiting here. I would like yeah. to like he should use his Reuter to pick off the camels. Otherwise, he was don't have enough time. I think. Yeah, it's so gonna be tight. This. I, I know. I know. So he's he's micro and absolutely brilliantly. Yeah. I mean, he, the problem is all his villages are idle. Okay, he is getting some income from the banks, but it's he needs to stabilize soon. Like this can't go on and on. But look at this. Like the issue here is now that the sepo have no range, so there's skirmishes behind the banks. There's skirmishes on the right side. Yeah, Just save your Reuters, and then you're totally fine. Like the, the banks are also like now from the left side, a pretty nice wall. Okay, he's changing to Gurkhas right now, and yeah, five more uh, sours. That can. I'm yeah, wondering I think, if. Uh, sorry, I was going to say King's got a lot of export and Q as well. He he's, he's be, could probably get the. Uh, the extra batch of red coats and yeah. that might be what he needs. I, this is so close. I don't know. If, I don't think Stanley can stabilize. I don't know. He needs another shipment. It's Kerms, wow. But then he's not making Reuters. Oh, that's going to be uh, tough. I, I would like him really to pop up some villages now. He needs to block this. Like, otherwise, all the Kerms going there for nothing. There are some five more Reuters, though. Uh, I, I think it might just be enough. He will barely, barely hold, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, keep in mind, if he holds, he's still in a good position with the four banks. Yeah, so I mean, uh, King King himself is doing a good job. He was targeting down the Reuters with his infantry. Um, he's kept the sours on the skirmishes, so um, kind of nice micro round. <laughs> Look at this like uh, thing around the town center. They're just walking circles, <laughs> like both of them. Yeah, um, I think that's it. Yeah, he, uh, he's, he's stabilized. Uh, King had a batch of five Gurkhas and one sour, but you know that wasn't enough. Uh, he's got he's got a villager coming. And <laughs> doing uh, some extra scouting again. By the way, I mean, after all this fighting, uh, he does have four banks, which I like. But then again, uh, the economy of the Indian player has caught up by a lot. He has his yeah, market we... upgrades. Let me just quickly show that. Like so, first so... food, second food. Yeah, Imperial Bureaucracy is actually on the way now. Yeah. So it's just about to finish. Um, and I think that will be all of them apart from... Uh, second the, goal, the second... perhaps. But... 
Yeah, and and foreign logging came in as well. So um, King King has got a bit of a score deficit, but it actually his his economy is in a better place. Yeah, but the thing is, like, um, he has a lot of villages on gold. By the way, I'm not sure if he's looking for that. Uh, what's the shipment again? The tiger claws, you know. Tiger claws, yeah. He might be looking for that, but then again, if his economy is the same, and sta- well, he's actually quite a bit ahead, to be honest. Forty-four versus thirty-four now. So, but then again, like Skirm and Reuters, with a possible additional of SARS, I hope. Is going to be very tough to deal with. Yeah, so these um, the the H three skirms from the Dutch are probably ever so slightly stronger than the the H two Gurkhas. So I think in terms of text, that Stanley's looking good. But uh, um, look at this, by the way, he's already mixing in Hus. He just made a five Hus batch, and there could be like a, it depends on what King of Man is going to do because he, he kind of needs his Gurkhas instead of Sepoys. He kind of needs mm. Sours also to get to the skirm of the other. But if he doesn't have enough Zamorak or yeah, Musketeers, then uh, as soon as Stanley picks it off, he can just yeah. smash his Hus in. And, and that's what Stanley's going for. So we had the four Hussar uh, as a shipment come in. And, you know, that's not that's not super common, but it, it, it's kind of nice just to be able to um, get out a, a big batch of Hussars when, when the enemy's yeah. not expecting it. And so King's only anti cav at the moment is the Red Coast. He's, he, he is adding he's another adding second stable, though. though. Yeah. So yeah. he could be going for like uh, Zemrek and Sowers, which is a pretty insane combo if you can make, mix them both. I really yeah. hope, by the way, that when Stanley's going to push, that he's not going to go like straight to the Agra, but more or less, say, to, to the here, to the foot of the map in the middle. Because yes. the Agra is going to be, of course, a very defensive point that's, that's doing damage, but also there's just so much reinforcement potential right away for uh, for King of Osman. You have to be really careful when you come in there. So King's playing it patient. Um, I, I think he knows that he didn't he didn't need to push, which was the sensible um, decision. He's kind of just uh, he's just kind of uh, content to to sit on his small eco advantage and kind of ride it out. And Stan Stanley knows that. Um, his eco is probably a bit less. He probably wasn't training Vils throughout all of that uh, the fight at his town centre. So he's, he's yeah. looking to gain some presence on the map. We we got his army coming out. Um, this house, uh, really nice placement by by King there. It's it's going to scout this all out. Uh, Stanley will not be happy to see this house there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then, it, by the way, Stanley still has only uh, researched hunting dogs. So like his eco is not the best. You know, like there's no steel traps, so his food is not coming in as fast as he would like. Yeah. And he is constantly housed because he's only sending army shipments. So that's yeah. not the most ideal. He, he needs to work in the, the Hussar upgrade as well. But the, the thing is, um, he's so he's got no one on wood. And all, all the wood that he's buying is kind of going into putting down the extra house. Um, he needs to get 200 wood to kind of up, upgrade these Hussars or else they are going to be a bit weak. And the thing is now, King's seen these Hussars. I think we can kind of expect a batch of yeah. Zambrex to come out. I was thinking the same. Like He already has five Zem- six Zambrex. And because the Hussars were shown there... It's kind of like it's always tough what you want to do. Like you don't want to waste time, but you can't commit right away. And then again, if you're gonna siege that house, I guess he probably walked in line of sight anyway. Like regardless of pulling back or not with his SRs. Yeah. So so Stanley is gonna kind of go for this uh, more four or five position. Um, I think King might King might have enough. He's gonna he's gonna try and pick off a few Reuters with the uh, with the Gurkhas, but Stanley comes in with the skirms. And he takes the first one. But there's so many like Zambarex and Camels here. It's going to be... Stanley has to do a good job microing away, like using his range. Let's see how he can. Yeah, yeah. Gurk is going in face first. Uh, the, the two Camel cards have arrived at perfect timing. So um, King's uh, Camels are going to be really strong against these unupgraded uh, Hussars. Yeah, they're still not veterans. So that's indeed a little bit unfortunate there. Then again, he is doing so far okay. But you see that the army population and the eco of King is just growing faster. So... Yeah, there, there might just be enough Reuters here to, uh, if, if he keeps kiting back. So we've already seen Stanley's got some uh, really good kiting. So he, he needs to uh, stick on that and keep kiting back really strong. Yeah, but what's really tough here, like for, for the way that, that Stanley has to micro, is like King of Osman can just A move his Gurkhas. But King, <laughs> no, no, but like really, like Stanley really has to focus fire on the Musketeers or Zamorax, which is really tough to do, which of, oftentimes means that you're going to like overfire on one Zamorak or one Redcoat because oh, you nice. just. Can't yeah. get it all down. So, so he got rid of all those um, sours until the big reinforcing batch of ten more sours. Yeah, that's that why I like two stables. Then, yeah, ten more. Um, I wonder if maybe if he makes a gate here and, and tries tries to get through. Oh, okay, so he's got seven Reuters as well. This, this might just be enough, but um, it's 
it's not looking great for Stanley right now because throughout the whole of this, he's he's, he's now down um almost like 18, 18 vils in eco. Yeah, which is yeah. I'm, I'm thinking like what, what what would you do? Like obviously you have to change up something. I mean, if you're gonna play this out the same way, you're gonna lose. So maybe you should try a cannon switch. Yep, yep, cannon switch. I agree. He's, he's got he's got to look for something. Um, I I don't know some kind of. Uh, raid or, or try and catch King out of position. Um, uh, so King King's uh, uh, looking for Vils. He went up to check on that mine. Uh, unfortunately for him, there weren't any there. But um, he's he's just kind of looking for loose villages. Yeah, and by the way, we see that uh, for there's still like uh, there's a mine on the top where King is gathering. He has a mine on the left, and he has a mine near Angerford. So he won't be running out of resources anytime soon. And it's going to be really tough for Stanley to pressure his his, his his economy because it's all behind his base, like behind the base of King of his mind. Yeah. So so Stanley need, knows he needs to get something done. So he's he's pushing out again, even if like the first push didn't go the, the way he wanted. He he's got to make something happen. Um. Okay. So he's going to go for a different angle. And actually, you know, there's there's quite a few villagers down here from King, and King's army hasn't responded yet. So it's gonna it's gonna take a good few ten seconds for him to get down here. Yeah, and what I do like is, I'm not sure about the, he has 35 skirmish versus 25 Gurkha, so he can do a little bit of poking, like, he's gonna win that as long as he doesn't commit and get trapped, so he has to be really careful here. Yeah. Like, uh, the thing is, the King of Osmain has a three-unit composition, and Stanley has only two. Like, he has no cavalry at all to block anything. Yeah, but I, I mean, I've been pretty impressed with Stanley's kiting so far. Yeah, um, he has so done a good job, exactly. So seven skirms come in as well from the back, so I mean, he's gonna, he's gonna need to keep on kiting. These sours are getting a nice snow on, and there's, look at how many sours there are. <laughs> That's a lot. But he yeah. is de doing a good job kiting, so they don't get the optimal surface area. Now they get a quite good angle. Yeah, you see how many? Wow! Look at how fast these skirmishes go down with the cards of the, on the on the sours. Look it, at it's that. Exactly. It's these skirmishes are probably dying, uh, maybe in three shots from from the uh, sours. And yeah, so so that skirmish lead that Stanley did have, it's just gone right out the window. Um, King's doing a good job with, of, of his own with the Gurkhas. He's not he's not letting them get caught behind. Um, he keeps moving. Forward, which is really nice. But this, yeah. But this is what I was talking about. Like he can just attack move and has a way easier time microwing versus this. It's reinforcing back. Ten like, more camels. Huh? Every time uh, Stanley gets rid of all the sours, he's <laughs> like, nope, I just got ten more sours then, mate. That is also a good job, King, by the way, because he, yeah, he makes. You can say it, it seems quite obvious from this point of view here, but it, it's good that he kept reinforcing with so many camels because that is the key to winning. He has enough Gurkha, of course, in the back left, so he just needs to make sure that he keeps snaring and keeps slowing down the army. Yeah. And no. yeah. Good job. I, I also I also liked how King kind of recognized, even though he didn't finish Stanley off with, with that big push, he, he knew he was in Stanley's base for a long enough time that actually he did get eco damage done. And then he didn't um, try and recommit again, thinking, oh, no, you know, I've got to go and kill kill Stanley. He, he was actually content to, to um, play out on, on his economy advantage. So that was kind of a nice read that he that he knew his, his eco was fine if, if, if we just played out, you know, the next 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, you you, you, summary, you you have a perfect summary there because if you look at the the post game uh, and the village account, like what we were hinting on before, uh, he was not making villages for some time. Yeah. In during a big fight, also after oh, H three, wow. look at that how long he just delayed it just to get army out. Like for for like what is this like uh, nine minute and a half, like five minutes he hasn't made villages there, only lost a few. So that really got him behind more than I expected him actually to to be. And like you said, King just like identified, okay, I am ahead enough in economy that I can just wait it out. And obviously we know that India is one of the few saves that can play a real long colonial game because they have access to skirms and goons. And yeah. uh, with the camel car, it's pretty decent cav as well at that point in time. Yeah. And of course, like because they Stanley was pressured so much, he couldn't really get like his fifth and sixth bank up, which means that the Indian economy is only growing like in at a faster pace. Um, I, I thought that was a, uh, a pretty nice game to start yeah. off with. That was, uh, it was, that was fairly close. I, I really liked it. A lot of good micro going on, by the way. You really could see it. He was focused on, on microing, kiting all the way uh, back towards his base, behind the walls, other way around, left way, <laughs> right way, <laughs> <laughs> turning again and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's the thing. The thing with kiting with uh, skirmisher Reuters, it, it's really hard to stay on top of that because if if you miss like one beat and and you uh, don't kite your skirms back after a volley, then you, you'll just get completely swamped and lose your entire army. So it's yeah. it's really it's really intensive. You've yeah. always got to keep backing them up and back. Them up. Exactly, because the, the sepoy, it's not that they don't do good damage. I mean, their damage output is quite okay. It's just that. Wait, the sepoy? Yeah, yeah, but the skirms have the range, so oh, they yeah. need oh, to be out of range, yeah. 
Yeah. By the way, I'm, I'm, I'm just can't stop like wondering like if he wouldn't have shipped the eight bike with straight seven hundred foot with the Minuteman still available, you know. I think that yeah. would have made made it. I, I, I think it would have been a preferred choice, but it's it's a I, tough call. Like he doesn't know what's coming, obviously. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. The the Minutemen pop. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I the the eight pike. You know, it's awkward, but I think the thing that um made him send it was maybe that TP. You know, he thought that King would have four hours potentially available earlier. So yeah, yeah but kind of uh, I agree that because of the TP, of course, you get your shipments faster, so it might be easier for King to just. Like you say, ship more stuff. But the thing is, if you think it through, the second and third wave of King were probably more damaging, which means that if you would have shipped your Sours first, you wouldn't have enough eco to do the second and third wave. For which sure. means that kind of like hints to me that he's probably not going to ship his four Sours first. And even if he does, I'm going to take some more damage. But because he doesn't have as much eco behind it, I think I'm probably still ahead, if you know what I mean. Which I, means that I would I, probably take the risk like... Seven I, I do know what you mean, Benny. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one zero for Stanley. Yeah. Oh, sorry, for so, King of Osmain. <clears throat> My bad. Yes, so this means that King of Osmain has to pick his civilization first, and the map is going to be Pampa Sierras. So uh, this is a map with no trading posts. Um, the hunts, I would say, they're, they're medium. That you know, they're not low, but then again, they're not super high. Um, we, we've seen civs like Dutch on, on this map before, so obviously Stanley can't go Dutch. Um, King could possibly go Dutch. He could go Japan. Big, uh, big. Um, he, he loves Japan, basically, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I'm, I'm expecting to see that at some point in, in this series. <laughs> yeah, uh, looks like King is going Ottomans. Oh, okay. Is that all right? I don't wonder what that meant. Yeah, it kind of looks Turkish, or what? What is what is that? Uh, like? well, I mean, you don't go you don't go autos on this map, right? So, <laughs> the, yeah, actually, you're right. There's no TP. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Unless you're gonna do some uh, native, native rush. rush. That could be. Yeah, I, 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 was have, seen, I have seen A's do. Uh, I I think I even played him on this map, and he did that versus me. I don't remember if he won. Did he win? Anyway, yeah, if well, he if, did, if, I, if I you don't remember, he probably won, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Um, they're not bad. I, I don't, what, are, what are they? They're the, they're the club things. They're pretty good. Yeah, I, I don't know actually. The, is it the Incas? The Inca yeah, yeah, yeah. They're really good. Yeah, yeah. I really hate those natives. I, I, either way, though, actually, um, having said that, I'd be very surprised if King or Stanley does choose to go for that. Stanley is not likely to go for natives, but King of Osman, I, I don't know. It could have um, been like he, he tried a specific BO, but then again, it looks like he's going Russia, so. Oh. Oh, okay, cool, yeah, yeah. So, Russia... Um, yeah, he picked Russia. I think that's a good save on this map, yeah. Yeah, you can you can kind of get a lockdown on uh, on what the enemy's going to do. Um, just go for the contain game, so kind of similar to to, to the India, actually. You, you can you can kind of be a bit aggressive early on, maybe get some damage done, and then you kind of just sit back and... You yeah, know, with, with good map control. I think yeah, it's going to be either Aztec, India, or uh, maybe British, but... I, oh. I think he's going to go Aztec. Aztecs, yes. Yeah. Yeah, he, he has he has a nice Aztec. It's uh, he likes the sieve as well. He's pretty comfortable playing that uh, for a lot of other sieves. I'm still not sure like who should win this matchup. I feel that it might be a little bit Aztec favorite, but I don't know. It, I feel it's pretty pretty tough for. Uh, so, I I I think the, so. The only bit I figured out about this matchup is I think if both sieves do a forward base. I think Aztec wins that fight. Like if it comes down yeah, to sending shipments, yeah, if, yeah. if they get out the the mace, like they, I, exactly, I believe they can take down whatever Rush just sends. So I think King probably have to start off defensive, but we'll we'll see. Well, Maybe I've, the the interesting thing about that, that I, I agree that the that they do better at first with the Rush and the shipments, and also they can of course make coyotes right away. But I've seen. I think it was Kaya on the stream tries or something. Where you are sometimes left with the point that the economy of the Russian player is is actually quite okay to just remass easier, even if they're even after losing like a first uh, first fight. Yeah, which kind of makes sure. me wonder. Like, I don't know. We we'll have to see. I'm looking forward to this matchup and how it's going to play out. 
Yeah, um, I'm just checking the hunts. I think they, they look okay. Stanley's third hunt is a bit far away. Uh, King's got a nicer third hunt, I would say. But um, does that, that, that looks pretty evenish. Actually, mm. Stanley's mines are not very good, though. The hunt, hunts are fine. The mines, the, the mines are, are not. not very good. The, the, so the thing is about this matchup, the mines don't matter too much, but I think they're too skewed that maybe we should rehost. Um, I, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, the other one is in the middle, right? Oh, he has no 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 mine in the middle. Yeah. So if if this was another matchup, I think I'd definitely rehost immediately. I don't know. Well, I feel that this probably better. Yeah. I mean, we could get to a third age and and, and eagles and, and so, pikemen and stuff. Just, let's just play let, it safe. I don't know. Let's just rehost. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the thing is, the mines probably wouldn't be. Yeah, I agree. Be relevant, but uh, would there's no harm in playing it safe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, he says not that. It, yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, it does. That's why I feel a bit awkward, like saying. Oh, no, <laughs> it's 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 fine, but to to make yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, because it it could get to a point where it matters, and then we're a bit really bad. So. <laughs> we don't we don't want to be in that position. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be I'd be very uh, interested to see if this does end up somehow in the fortress age with. Uh, <laughs> yeah, age probably not. But yeah, like I, I agree. It's just just better just to be just to be, just to be sure. Like uh, one thing I hate is just like losing because of a bad map. That's like, of course, you have to adapt to to how far things are, but that's close to a certain point. So just uh, just making sure there. Okay, take two. Aztec versus Russians. By the way, both teams have just one scout, so that's going to be a fair contest for uh, for the llamas on the left side. Oh, god damn it! Hunts for Stanley. Which hunts? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. This is not fair. This should be. Wait, what's the third? Oh no, that's up the river. Uh, no, it's three versus two. It's... And and the fourth. Yeah, we I, have I mean, I think they are all there. They're just far away. That's awkward. <laughs> right, third third time lucky. Yeah, that's that's it's, the same, right? It well, it's the same for a reason. I I don't know I don't know where it ca came from, but obviously there's, there's something on the. It probably came from uh, people playing Edge of Empires a long yeah. long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, actually. I it, it probably didn't come from AV3 only because I'd be surprised um, on, on the robot maps. You you need a lot more than three times. <laughs> you need definitely like, a lot more. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I think it would be like a, a ten time lucky saying if um it came if it originated from AV3. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no third time lucky. I I I believe it's gonna work. By the way, this just reminds me of some video I saw on YouTube where people playing like real life Age of Empires. You know, one gang was dressed up in white, uh, in red, and the other was dressed up in blue. <laughs> yeah. They were just like fighting it out, like Age of Empires style. <laughs> okay, I'm lost. But you need to link me that after mm. after this one. I need to see that. Oh, well, right. it was quite hilarious. Okay, Big so fans. Uh, Stanley, he kind of has three. Uh, King kind of. I, I'd say the hunt's a bit better for King, but I think I, I think this think is sort of play. Yeah, yeah I and think the mines he, yeah. fine. I think we roll with it. Uh, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, the mine is now a bit better for Stanley. Although King has done the left as well. I I, 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 mean, I, I don't think no, I'm this is much fine. This, this is. Oh, the mines actually is. Yeah, this, this is. Uh, let me see. Um, yeah, I think this is fine. E executive decision. We're good. Game is underway. Yep, exactly. I, so. Is there, by the way, a way that I don't have to move this economic unit population all the time? Is there a fix um, to that? No, get get moving it. <laughs> yeah, working A's. on it. Like Wait. A's A's has invented this magnificent UI, and you're complaining about. No, it's it. ma I, oh, I've already complimented him enough with it. It's, right, he, right. he has done a great job. I agree. Although I'm at the moment figuring out how to get this. Ah, there we go. One. So, 
So, so this is interesting because usually um, when we see this map, both players send their explorers straight to the left looking to pick up those llamas. But instead, both of these guys gone treasure scouting. Um, Stanley got a nice uh, convert on this uh, outlaw blowgun. It does 30 damage and he's, he's taking some good pot shots against King. So King did pick up the nice 90 food. He's going to be pretty happy with that as Russia. You, you kind of need that to yeah. not get idle na age one, but um, his explorer's taken a lot of damage. Yeah, I agree with you. It's an interesting way of scouting because... Like, usually when they get the llamas, then again, you can say some treasures are better. But on the other hand, yeah. even if you have a 90 foot treasure, you can as well use, like, one llama, just delete it, get your food faster. And you're basically at, at the same point, but then with more llamas left. Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 not, I'm not too sure um, myself which is better. Because if you do get some nice treasures, you can kind of use them to, to snowball pretty early on. So you can kind of use them to maybe get a say a market up or, or maybe just even get your four base down faster before the llamas even come into play so it's it's hard uh, to say but now both guys are moving to the left so they kind of had a bit yeah. of a move around now they're going for the llamas i like that stanley uh, went, went to the middle and then to the left because as you see now he's going to first take some llamas like further away and then make probably like a circle back towards his base yes yeah, so which I means that he should be ending up with more llamas in the end uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a 5-3 split, assuming King then actually does go and pick up his free llamas. But I, I think King's going to be pretty happy. He's found another 90 yeah. resources, 90 coin this time. So the first one was 90 food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah, definitely yeah. going to have no idle age, no idle time for aging up. That's going to be uh, really nice. Yeah, um, both players doing well to keep both their hunts bang next to their town centre. So that's always something you want to do. Uh, keep keep the uh, um, idle villager time down. And that that's kind of really important as Russia as. It, you know, it always feels a tiny bit awkward to get that idleless uh, age up as Russia. But with the 90 food and kind of this good herding control in age one, uh, I, I think it should be no problem for King to be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good that you pointed out. It's, it's very important to get, oh, he's doing a little bit of a mistake probably here with, the, with, with shooting it away. But both of these players have done a pretty good job getting their herds really close to the town center. And it's going to matter. It's going to add up. Yeah. Um, so what do we have uh, Stanley going for? This 80 is a nice wood. Pleasure, right? yeah. 80 wood. And uh, he's he's building up a, a pretty good army. He's converted a pirate. Yeah, you see that three hundred and sixty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. That that's a nice wow. one. Yeah. So uh, I guess King will be looking to crack shot that at some point, as um, that that can turn fights. Uh, I am, uh, by the way, like it could be that they want to both siege each other's FB, depending on where it goes in the middle. But Stanley can actually take this one. Like you can let the pirate tank. You can convert one, and you can just take this treasure. Like it's huge. Yeah, twenty five food. So um, Stanley's sending out his free vols, and this is kind of what um, I expected. So so the Aztec can do the four base. I'm, yeah, and okay, so King's gonna go for the for the defensive um, blockhouse as Russia. I, I I feel like Russia have to do this. I I do think they lose the FB war. So, uh, yeah, I, I agree with you there. Unless you come with some really weird bo, like usually, if you're not gonna let's say all in. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna lose it. I agree. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I guess, I guess the other problem would be if King sent his vills forward, he'd get harassed by the blow gunner and you know the pirate and all that. So. Yeah, but that doesn't do much to the vills, only to the blockhouse, though. Yeah, that's that's also the problem, by the way. Yeah, I mean, all these converted guardians, they will siege their blockhouse. Twenty-four like, siege attack. Yeah. yeah, plus bonus, of course, while it's building up. So you will probably lose half your HP already. By the way, if we look at the blockhouse position, it's a little bit forward. Do you actually think that if the pikemen are seizing the blockhouse, that they are still in range of the town center? It's yeah, just, just, just about barely. even if they are on the north, they're yeah, yeah. pretty sure they'd all be in uh, position. So, okay. so that's okay. Yeah, Perfect so, uh, spot then. Yeah, and um, King's doing a good job on this bottom right hunt as well. Oh, he's, <laughs> he has killed a second. Uh, what on earth is that? A guan guanaco? Okay. So he's killed Say another again? guanaco. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, 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 you know, it's, it's, guanaco. it's a pronghorn. But it, yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's a Gornaco. Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, so he's doing a good job bringing in the herds. Uh, I think that in this case, to be honest, it doesn't matter as much if you bring in the third herd already because you need two herds uh, to be fine and it's not like the Aztec is going to raid you that hard on the sides. Yeah. So I sometimes um, feel that I don't want to waste any time, you know, like running with my vills just to make sure I get to uh, everything out as, as fast as I can. Second blockhouse, by the way, going up very defensive. And he is going to... Yeah. I think he scouted this, right? It should be in the line of sight of his hero. Second yeah, I, I, yeah. Can uh, we... Uh, King, King maybe got too close there. However, however the reason King's Explorer uh, was out there was he did take down both Guardians. Uh, crack shot uh, the pirate and did take down the one. So that's nice. However, Stanley's coming in. We got the uh, the 10 May shipment and the 5 Pumas. But um, two Blockhouses and this TC yeah. fire might be enough. 
this is all I like a lot. You can just try to do some damage with the maces, use your range, poke in a little bit, and then you can just re return back to the pikeman. And yeah, he should just back off now. You don't want to take this fight. Yeah, but I so. Oh, you don't lose your hero. That's that's mm. like a 100 XP. It's also huge, but of course the fact that you don't have any more tank left. On on the plus side though, so unfortunately, yeah, he lost his hero. But what's good for Stanley is he forced the uh, the Minutemen, and I don't think the Minutemen even got. Did they, I'm not sure. They might have got one shot off, but whatever it was, it wasn't very impressive. And you know, none of those. Like, <laughs> You're like, not like, impressed, huh? Not impressed by the minute, man. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, I, what? yeah. They, they they could have got more done because now they're going to go down to to sort of okay. one HP. Oh, and Stanley now picks, picks up a bill. Well. Yeah. So yeah, good, good control. But uh, so so the thing is, he's not actually going to be able to break this position anytime soon. Uh, King sensibly, he's healed up that blockhouse, so he actually, hasn't made. Yeah, I think oh, yeah? actually he should be going in soon because like King is making musketeers. He ships 700 wood. Of course, Stanley doesn't know it exactly, but it's kind of expected to ship 700 wood after five Cossacks, especially if you make oh. two blockhouses. Uh, so he, I really he, think he, he should go in. He is, yeah. yeah. yeah he shipped the six Puma. Like, what can um, he do realistically? I can't deal with all the pikemen uh, right now. So he just has to back off while the maces can shield off the musketeers from the pikemen. Yeah, so King's, uh, he's got enough resources to train a batch of Jullets, he's probably going to need them on the way, but this this blockhouse is going to go down so fast. Yeah, exactly. Um, and he's, and he's, yeah. If Stanley now has ten, uh, nine maces on the way as well, he, I think he's totally fine, because King doesn't have the army to deal with this right away. Yeah, and so all these uh, Minutemen, really low HP, they're going to be taken down pretty fast. Um, yeah. He's, he's doing a good, uh, King's doing a good job to keep his Cossacks alive, poking in and around. Uh, he's getting a few shots off, five more musketeers at the top. Some Vils tanking. I don't know. Two Vils go down as well. Uh, yeah. Although he has to be really careful with the pikemen. And by the way, he's now switched to making maze. So he was at first making pikemen. He's now making mazel tins. And I think, like, really, if he ships nine mazes after this, he, he can probably seal this. Like, Yeah, uh, we, we have to assume that there's another shipment on the way from King. I believe. I think he got enough XP, so maybe 13 strelets on Look at this, the second blockhouse going down. But yeah, then again, he should probably ship 13 strelets, as you mentioned. It has to be his, like, his saving shipment here. Yeah, so, P Pumas have got insane siege uh, for pikemen. They're, they're yeah. even better than normal pikemen, so that's why the blockhouses went down so fast. we got a third emergency blockhouse going down. Um, King's targeting the uh, Puma. Yeah, here comes the strelets. Third, third, time to back off. Yeah, I think this is good. He killed two or three vills. He killed uh, the blockhouse. And the funny thing is, like, look at this. Uh, I think you should be really careful here, but, but if the mer uh, maces merge together, he probably has enough to just hold off the strelets as well. Yeah, and, and he got his war chief back. Uh, yeah. Not full HP, but that would be nice if he can get him back in. Um, he was doing a good few volleys against the Vils. Um, good micro from King, though, bringing in the Vils at the right point. Uh, King's going to go in again with the Cossacks, pulls him back at the right moment. Puma's going to get on the town center. Oh, I don't like actually that he's... Well, he's taking town town center and he's idling uh, King. That's good. But then again... Oh! Okay. Well, that, there you go. He uh, took down town center right away. Look at this. Puma, <laughs> good siege, man. <laughs> no. Sorry, yes? Yeah, no, he... Uh, that was insane. Right click. On yeah, the I was actually thinking like... Uh, I, I, in these situations, I really prefer if people take out houses and market and stuff like that. Because that's guaranteed damage, and if you go for a town center, you will maybe get it down like half HP or something. Yeah, but, but realistically, but, you're not going to take it down. But the thing was, Stanley, Stanley knew King was going to crack when he clicked on that town center. Ah, so I see. You weren't thinking about that. Stanley knew. He he knew that was I, the time to go for the right. King. Exactly. That okay, was so great. this was this was his way of like securing the victory. Exactly. Well, in that case, uh, yeah, good job. But he, he played it pretty well, I think, with the micro as well. I, I'm not quite sure if I. I really would have liked to see King play a little bit different. Uh, like, Musketeers are just really, really bad for his maces. Like, they die yeah, so fast. I, I guess I don't think King expected Stanley to be so aggressive. I, I think when King put up his second block house, he would, I think, um, if I was in his position, I would have kind of assumed, okay, the Aztec's seen that. You know, he's probably going to back off. Like, who's going to push into two blockhouses and a town center? But Stanley called it correctly and knew he kind of yeah. had enough to, to break it based on... Also, he saw the five muskets come out. So I, I guess that's kind of what happened. King thought, oh, he isn't going to push. But Stanley thought, yeah, you know, I can actually take this. So Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the, the units that you have at first are not enough. So he can just shield with the maces and the pike can siege in the back. And if you then have six plus five... It's just it's just it's enough. Like you could take some, you're gonna take some damage, but you're gonna deal way more damage in return. 
Yeah. And so, I think uh, people like they usually underestimate these kind of uh, like pushes from Aztec. But then again, um, I feel that yeah, like I said, I, I, I would have changed the build order a little bit from the Russian perspective, not just because Musk are so yeah, like so weak. Like of course the Russian musketeers they are weaker, but also because it's Aztec with their maces. Like even British musketeers are, are not doing that that uh, that good as well with with like the small numbers early on. Yeah. Um... I, I honestly I think it's because King was it wasn't expecting Stanley to come in so hard to is more he was more expecting kind of the coyotes just you know raiding around the side so I think that's kind of probably why I wanted the musketeers uh, I, I think he just felt safe on the two block houses and thought Stanley was going to go coyotes so that's I get I think that's my explanation for, for why yeah that happened. he probably thought he had more time and then you could get yourself out wood and get your your, your stuff out wait the 13 strats because it would have mattered a lot if he had yes. 13 strats there he would have been able to do so much more poking, uh, like into the pipe man, and then Stanley couldn't really see, so he was just buying time, and yeah, that would have been uh, a big difference. But Stanley yeah. called it correctly, like you said, and uh, yeah, took the game. 1-1. One, one. Oh. oh, now I'm getting invited to... Oh, okay, no, the King's got it anyway, it's fine. Yeah, they're going to host it, yeah. You get players are prepared. Yeah. Like, world so, upside down, right? Yeah. <laughs> This this is where King will go to Japan, yeah. Uh, what is the or Baja, yeah, uh, Baja California? Maybe. Um, so King pick first last. Time. Well, he actually he also plays Ottomans. He and does. He might like Ottomans on this map as well, right? Yeah, I think I, yeah. I think I think everyone plays Ottomans just by just by default. Yeah, after all, it's not that hard to just make uh, exactly. <laughs> let, uh, let's not get into that, but I agree. <laughs> I know where you're coming from. <laughs> yeah. Um, Stanley picks. Yes. Yes. Oh, you already said that. Wow. Okay, yes. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he is, I, I, I bet he's gonna say Brit hype just because he wants Stanley to pick Brits, and now he's gonna. Uh, I oh, know. I see. You know, hmm. like he, he's saying this because. You know, I think Brit is good save. Like, pretty sure it's one of the best saves uh, you can you can you can choose right now. But then again. On this map, with you know their hunts a little bit further out and a little bit like not the best like big herds available. I don't know if I like. Yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. The hunts you can you can run out of them pretty fast. I mean, there are some berries, but I you can imagine that say like ten minutes, your 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 gut bills going out all, all the way on yeah. the map. I'm curious, like. Uh... Yeah, you can't go rush. Uh, the 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 saves reset after the third game, right? Yes, and then that you can play correct. every save once again. In indeed. Yeah. So okay. uh, no Russia. Yeah, and, so it's uh, going to be Japan or uh, or Alto. Um, or I Dutch. He still has. Yeah, he's Dutch, but uh, I don't think he's queuing to Dutch versus. Brits. Ah, okay. <laughs> Stanley doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. No, this could this could work actually. He could um. So King played Brits in his last tournament series, and he there. Yes, yeah, so there is a good chance that King uh, was. Did, did he play Brits. Brits versus what? Did he click in British versus? Ah, uh, it, uh, Brit it was a British mirror. Yes. Versus Conqueror. Oh really? Yeah, it, it was game one though, so it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't I think I wait. I think I've I've seen part of that. Was that was You've that seen? King or was it? Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. We, we, I swear we've had a British mirror. Like in we have had British mirrors. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it probably it probably wasn't, but uh, you, you probably would have seen. You know, it's the same thing anyway. So, well, yeah. But um, yeah. So so Brits are a possibility. I even though people in general think like Brits do well against Japan, I think there's a chance King pulls out Japan anyway. Well, I know that his Japan is is pretty good, so he, he probably feels pretty comfortable clicking into this matchup with Japan. But yeah, then again, um, like uh, British, I mean, if you play versus Japan, you do have the map, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Like unlike versus Ottomans or something. So that I, I think British can can beat Japan on this map, to be honest. I think he might go with France as well. Does he play France? Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Big big French player, I think. Oh, why is Stanley saying that? <laughs> Maybe he's like, uh, you know. He wants. He wants. I, I, I think both these guys have played a lot of British mirrors. Well, before. I think pretty like Stanley is pretty com uh, comfortable in a British mirror. I know that for sure. He really wants to Brit Brit mirror here. That's yeah. why I wouldn't have said that. What he just said, you know, like. 
to keep the mind games going in the right direction. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you never, you never know how you're going to bait the other guy. Yeah, yeah, that's that's like uh, you know, there's psychological warfare involved as well. It's not like easy just playing at your own price, man. There's, there's a lot more to it. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Uh, but King's thinking. He's uh, he's not sure. Yeah, it's uh, it's one one, so uh, it's not like a match so, point yet. So so yeah, I, France or Brits, I think, are coming out from impossibly Japan. Those are. Those are my guesses. You don't like Otto here? Okay, he's going to be French. Look at, look, look, look at that amazing what, did, did you tell him to go French, otherwise you would pest him, or what? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, that's what I do today. I see, yeah, yeah. you, you yeah. got to get, get right, right? Uh, uh, you've exposed me. I've exposed you, I'm sorry. So yeah, British, I like this matchup. Like this is one of the like traditional matchups of Age of Empires, British versus France. I really like this. Indeed. This uh, I like a lot. This I like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I get I think the reason why King King opted for this is um we were talking about those the hunts are a bit more spread out. Um that is gonna that's gonna come into play at some point, and you know King King's gonna be able to get some of those raids on, or or you don't even have to raid. It's just like it's annoying for Brits to have to continually walk their yeah. walls all, ac all across the map. Like Brits is just gonna be down like three or four hundred resources at a certain point just because of walking time, just because you have to keep moving them from hunt to hunt. Yeah. So it, yeah, yeah, exactly. And I'm curious, like you, you can punish this in two ways. You can of course rush, but then again, I think it's gonna be. British should be able to hold that, I feel, uh, or you can go for, for this timing early fortress uh, and, and try to, to get Brits off the map with your better units. Uh, th th by the way, it was not a 200 wood start, there's, th so no. there's no TP for either player. No. But I am, the, the explorers are kind of close to each other, ah, so uh, luckily for Stanley, King kind of sees his own wood treasure as well, yeah. I was a little bit right for Stanley that he was going to come come up on this uh, wood treasure. So so they're both going to get... Um, <laughs> Look at this, by the way, he's going to pick up the... Is he going to be on time? Ah. Oh, nice! Look at it. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah, I do that as well. Like you, you it's you, season, though. It's yeah, got he time. has, he has time. He has to be he walking should. close. Like he he's, to, he's really got to go. It's gonna, ah, move, move. Yeah, it's gonna be close, man. He, but he doesn't, he doesn't see the explorer coming in from the top. Oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, he's he's got, got, no, he, got he got doesn't. Oh, that's oh sad. that that's was. Sad. Uh... He, did you see that he hesitated for a second after the second shot? Yeah. If he I... had walked straight, I think that that would be one second like earlier, and he would have made it. But this means that King now had 140 wood. That's that's big. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that's that's a real real blow for for Stanley. And um, King King's making use of that straight away. Gone into the market and his house. So that's going to let him a faster age up as well. And uh, oh, that's going to feel rough for Stanley. And King's just hunting him down. Like he he knows the explorer is low, so he's just uh, not going to let him get any more treasures. So so um, at least Stanley's he's able to scout around his base and you know find out where the hunts are. Before his hero is gonna die, he made true. he made quite a complete circle, so that, that's okay. But yeah, he's gonna lose his hero, which is gonna be tough. Yeah, um, is he gonna be able to snipe it with the TC, the scout? Like, do you reckon that's worth it at this point? Nah, no, no, it's too risky. He should have probably walked up, walked a little bit faster towards his TC. I think. Yeah. So uh, good, good job um, by King using using the scout to block, get the extra damage there. Um, and now he's he's just got you know two or three minutes to pick up whatever treasures he wants. And uh, Stanley's left with I don't know what, what did he get like you know a ten coin treasure yeah a couple like of coin treasures thing? yeah like fifty um, coin in total I think by now forty coin actually and that doesn't that doesn't really help him at least not right now. It's always this interesting balance like between greed and and safety. Like he could have let the ten twenty coin on the ground and straight for go for the for the treasure you know just to be sure. But you see this coin and it's just like looking at you, it's saying, just pick me up as well, you know, and you, you, you want to get both. And usually you just get away with it. Like, for sure. It's it's really unfortunate that, that it went like this. Yeah, it, it, it really could have gone the other way, but um, it didn't. Anyway, so now he's got his, uh, he's got some bills coming out. I guess they're going to be getting down a few manners, get, get that line of sight going. Yeah, by the way, just to be sure, let's see, the British guy has no C deck, so he's not going to go for any uh, water play. So we have that out of the way. 
And uh, I'm actually curious to see if King of Was Mine will go for a trading post in transition or not. I expect he will, looking at the wood that he's gathering. Yeah, yeah. I, I think just in general as France, you you can't you really want that trading post, even if you're staying H two, uh, just to get the shipments rolling. I guess because um, Brit Brits just get more XP in general building building those manors, so it's not a big deal for Brits. They really don't need that trading post. But as France, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I agree. France does need it a lot more, but actually, I lately really like to take a TPS Brits as well. Oh it's, yeah, it's, it's, it can. I think it's underestimated. Like you, you, you trickle in so many more of your cards, like one after another. By the way, um, just hold that for a second. We see two villagers from Stanley walking through the middle. Yeah. And by the way, King is already hurting. Look at this. One, two. He's hurting three hunts already towards his town center. That's that's like pretty active or hurting. Yeah, really nice. Um, so. I guess this is going to be a double Rex. Look at this, by the way. The hero is going to pass through the center, and because he doesn't see the Vils, he's probably going to be expecting a Stanley is not having Vils there. You know, he walked yeah. right before that. Ah, so, so he's Stanley going to get snared actually, again. <laughs> well, the thing was, so Stanley went straight away for the stair. That's just like straight up instincts. Um, even before you check the HP of yeah, the yeah, yeah. music explorer, like he immediately snared it and then checked it and was like, crap, <laughs> I'm the one with the lower HP. Well, actually, Stanley has more HP, but yeah, that one's going to be aging, yeah. and yeah, that's going to be a little problem. But then again, I think what he's doing is fine. He's keeping the hero oh, yeah. busy, so he can't scout, yeah. and so he has no idea about the Rex. Absolutely, yeah. As, as, as soon as he realized he was caught, he was like, right, I'm going to yeah, keep keep the other guy in the dark. And, and yeah, it, so it's going to be the double Rex. Then. Exactly, it's a 500 foot edge up, so it's going to be a Rex and a Rex. And um, He's not leading the hero his, away. I like this. Yeah, ju judging by his resources, uh, he's only got 35 coin. This is... Um, oh, okay, okay. So this is like some kind of Aklak build or something. I was yeah, this say is the rush build. Be That's why you age with 500 foot and make two wrecks right away. There's no market also for Stanley, so he really has to make something happen here. Ah, a second TP, look at this, wow. You might even go stagecoach because he thinks like there's not a rush coming. He has no idea what's going on here. And, and he's got a stable of his own in the back. He's he's, he's uh, totally unprepared for this. So, so he has got 700 wood of his own. Um, he's going to need to pull this courier though. Yeah, exactly. Fast. Oh, uh, he's going to get it, nice. Yeah. There's, there's good job. No, uh, little upgrades. bit late direction time, I think, but then again, Stanley did a good job like moving right away after he shot, so not wasting any time there. Yeah, and uh, King is act act um, reacting uh, appropriately. It immediately puts down the racks as soon as he he, he sees those uh, saw the muskets killers villager. He, he knows he's got a uh, yeah. So, a but interestingly enough, he shipped seven hundred wood first. So I think he was planning maybe to go for some stagecoach build. But seeing that, of course, there's the musketeer pressure, he then decided to put his racks down. Otherwise, it would have been later, because he would first have to uh, to wait for the four, uh, four fills. And these these Kira de Bois uh, still don't have the the upgrades, so so they're not as tanky as we're we used to seeing them. So he's he's gonna have to be a bit careful with them. As Stanley's got out, a, a, you know, a nice lot of muskets now. Yeah, and so he's just like pressuring both mines because they're both up in front. So he's just denying any coin gathering. Oh, look at this! Barely doesn't get the last fill here. <laughs> Zero HP. How does it even happen? Like, <laughs> yeah. and, and also There's I like this from uh, from King. He's not. He's not. Yeah. He's not keeping his four hussars yeah. um, at, at home or something. He knows they're not going to get anything done at home. So exactly. exactly what he should be doing. Sends them across the map. Uh, Trying to idle as many vills as he can from Stanley. Kills some vills. He already took one out. Um, yeah. You always just want to make as much use if you can uh, of your army as you can. Indeed, idle army is no point here. He's not going to use the SARS. He can bring them back later to snare a group of muskets. Oh, he has to be careful. Eight crossbows popping out here. That's of course something you can really expect. So I'm actually a little bit surprised that he went in so far. If you see your mm -hmm. opponent has a trading post, his third shipment will be crossbows in this case. Yeah, so there's there's a lot going on at the moment. King's still raiding. Um, Stanley's had to send back muskets, so he's only got six muskets on the way back. But at the same time, King's doing a good job of killing the muskets up back at his base. Oh, and uh, Stanley's uh, he's he's let him he's let him all his muskets um, idle for a bit. So I think they're all going to go down. Actually, that's a huge yeah, ship. For that's that's yeah. indeed big. That's that's a lot. Um, like, and, yeah. and the, the Sars did a good job idling Stanley Zico. If you look at this, like look at this herding, by the way. Like for example, take this herd in the back. It has never even been hunted towards his town center. Yeah, it's that's, that's a real issue. On, on the plus side, he is taking down most of the hussars. There's only one left, so it's going to be a bit less annoying. But he's been forced onto berries at seven minutes. You don't want to be forced onto berries. King going for the low HP bill. Do you reckon he's going to get it? I think he will. He will. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to get it. Yeah. 
I would probably put some version in Townsend just to say, okay, he makes sure that he gets it with the, with the mask. That's a good job. Um, but if you if you now see where we are in this game, uh, there is two trading posts for the French player, which means the 700 coin is probably going to come up pretty fast. Yeah. And that means that actually he kind of denied yeah. the rush from the British player. He can't do any more damage. And yeah. so he is safely going to be able to age up and probably play it out from there. It's going to be really tough for Stanley. He has to make something happen here. Yeah, so um, really nice by King. Yeah, that 700 coin. He he knows he's created a window for himself to age up, having killed all those muskets at the top, forcing muskets back. He knows he's got the window there to go up to Fortress, so um, he's taking it, doing exactly that. And Stanley is in, he's in trouble, Benny. I don't, I don't know what he does. He's got 700 food, so that will get him a lot more muskets. But um, yeah, he, he maybe wants to take out this TP. Oh no, he's gonna move away. But look, there's another raid coming in from the side. I really like it that he's gonna be active with the raids because all he wants to do is buy time so he can safely age up. And if he's gonna keep raiding Stanley, Stanley has to take care of that. So yeah, and uh, Stanley's just moved these these muskets away as as his villas have gone back to hunt. So these huts are definitely gonna get a few villas. A, a very quick reaction though, but um. Unfortunately, there's, you know, there's no muskets nearby, so even though it's a quick reaction, there's still a number of villas are going to go down. Oh, and yeah. I see, did you see King's got this um, native scout? Yeah. I've only just yeah, seen yeah. it. It's not going to go down, I think. If he notices, he doesn't notice. He could have sniped that, but there we have uh, King of Osman aged up. And yeah, like basically, like realistically, what are you going to do? You have no stable, so you can't deal with skirms. You have a very low eco because you went for an all-in kind of rush which failed. And you lost quite some vills. It's going to be really tough. Yeah, I think maybe this is where you hope you do have schooners in the deck and just try and camp on the water, but that isn't going to be an option for him here. So, I don't know. I don't know what he does. It's going to be... Uh, he's, he's in a really tough spot here. And uh, I just, like, don't want to call the game too fast, but I really think that this is just a matter of time, to be honest. But we'll see if he can make something happen. But what I really want to, want to get back to is... Uh, first of all, if you do a rush like this, you have to be really spot on with your herding. Otherwise, after the crates run out, you won't be able to make any more units. That's exactly. the key. You keep your un your villages close by in case of any raids, which are expected from France. And also, the reason why uh, a rush is really hard to pull off on this map is because France has a trading post, so relatively fast eight crossbows. And also, yeah. the herds are are quite far so it's really like even if you're hurt properly it's still going to take time as you also covered early on with walking uh, to, to the hurts so you mm -hmm. won't just be able to get as much mass out as you otherwise would on another map and that so, also slows your rush down so king king's pushing out we've uh, we've seen him ship eight skirms uh, he's, he's training a few more batches of skirms adding those dragoons and yeah he's just got such a strong army that these two raxes that's he can't, stanley can't defend the two raxes and so he wasn't in a great position before but now he's gonna have to you know rebuild some production so um yeah yeah he's just making some goons t to be safe i'm pretty sure he walked around the base of stanley quite a few times to see there's no stable but yeah, you, you don't want to get uh, get a surprise from some hidden stable somewhere. There's like, realistically, you have to see like, what's what can I lose to here? The only way I can lose to is some surprise hus. So you make sure you don't get, uh, you don't lose to that. You add some goons, and basically you're you're good to go. Yeah. And, so um, uh, Stan Stanley's uh, instead of adding two more axes, he's added a stable and has gone up to the fortress age. So this might uh, this is going to give him access to the to the two falconets, which might be the one shipment that could kind of hold this for a bit but he doesn't have a shipment though so it's kind of yeah he has no bit. shipment yet and it's going to be still of course a very tough position because uh the french player is uh, have uh, up in the economy like 37 versus yeah. 32 bills king's still being annoying with this one hustle it will finally get taken down but uh he was still being pretty active with that he did the vill hp by now so that probably helped saving <laughs> that vill, so. yeah um so King's a bit anxious at the moment to push in. I guess well he doesn't need to though. The, the He's waiting for his two folks. I think they're on the way here. So ah, he's just poking a little bit and then. Uh... Yeah. So um, I I think uh, what's the stand standing needs to wait for his two folks and then maybe he, um in the falconet exchange he can get a big victory there. Some sometimes that happens where your two folks just kill the other guy's two folks. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I, yeah, I think I think that's his only way back in back into the game. Though. Yeah, because he doesn't have enough longbows to really contest the skirm, so <clears throat> the skirms can just keep poking. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. His, his coin mine ran out at an awkward time as well. It's just uh, 
Yeah, but uh, King King slow balling at, at the moment. Um, slow rolling in, not being uh, overly aggressive. I'm not sure why he goes for the house. Like, does he kind of feel that the uh, British player is close to being housed? Well, he, he, yeah, I guess I guess so because he is. Because right? usually you don't, right? You want to take out the stable or something, but yeah. Oh, this so is interesting. Okay, so this is really bad. I mean, <laughs> he's going to make a market to maybe trade stuff. Oh, well, he has a lot of villagers on board by now. Yeah. Two cannons yeah. for Stanley. Let's see if the miracle that you were talking about is going to happen here. It, it could it could happen. He gets three more hustles out. He needs to pull them back before he He has fat house, by the way, so he yeah. did manage to, to get that upgrade in. Here we go. Oh, and his, his fans mm. get a nice volley. Yeah, off. this is also really tough. Like, people should uh, split the cannon shots. It's it's so easy, of course, to click on one of the other units, but you get so much more value if you just spread your cannon shots out. Yeah. It's going to be tough, but... He, he did get two free volleys, though, on those yep. guns. Near nice. bands as well. Gets his own volley. King doing a good job with micro ring, like staying out of range of the Falcon Nets from Stanley. Oh, yeah, Stanley, he's going to take another hit as well. I'm not spread out. Oh, I three crews coming from the... <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is this stuff. Okay, so GG. Yeah, we basically, I think, covered it. It's uh, I, I can show it in the post game because, yeah, why did he pick British? Pick Brits? That's exactly what we were talking about. There's just such low foot on this map. Look at this. He has... Five and then uh, eight and then six. While this can be like let's say ten ten eight or something or ten eight eight, and then you can really poke more. Plus the most important thing, you can easily send like four musk back for his raids, so you can keep the pressure on without having to worry about idle villagers. And because you don't have the crucial mass, you're gonna be uh, left in a tough spot, not really able to do much damage, not really able to cover your own economy. Uh, behind it so yeah that yeah, was a little sorry, bit of uh, i was just that yeah i was uh i was busy um so yeah that was uh two two one up now in favor of king and that and then that game was won pr pretty early on so yeah see. Civs so, reset now Civs reset yes and uh, what is the map pool actually what are we going into um, I don't know what they vetoed. I think Klondike was vetoed. Let me see. I can find it off. Uh, they might have posted that up already. And who's pick? It's King to pick first. King yeah. pick first, yeah. Yeah. No, wait, wait. <laughs> he picked. No, wait. He picked. He no. picked French. Yeah, as a counter. So he picks first. Yes. Oh yeah, he picked it as a counter. Yeah, yeah, wait. Why yeah, do you pick no, Brits? Yeah, I don't get why you pick Brits on this map. Yeah, okay. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I've, I've been questioning some of some of the Brits. Uh, the Brits have been like, pick, yeah. picked a lot. And I, it's it's a really good sieve. And I think, that, sure, sure, that's why it's getting picked. But people maybe aren't paying enough attention to the maps. And they're yeah. just picking Brits on, you know, all these low hunt maps. And, you know, yeah, sure, that's Brits like, sieve, but... But they need um, a map to, to, you know, to show their strengths properly. They, they need a good map for that. All right, so we've got Adirondacks next. Uh, which So this map is, uh, I like this map. It, it's got a lot of resources, but it's also pretty small, pretty aggressive. So um, yeah. you, a, lot, a lot can go on here. Yeah, I, I like this map as well. It's uh, I like always how it, like, obviously in most maps it comes down to to a fight for for the center and for map control. But because, like you say, the way that the town centers are positioned and the map is quite tight, it's always a very interesting fight. Like in the lower part of the map, I feel. Yeah. What's All going right, on I'm there? Gonna, I'm gonna host uh, and give them the Adirondacks. Uh, yeah, man, you came well prepared as well. I'm proud of yeah, you. Yeah, well, I just used the. If, if you go to. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I got it. I got the set as well, but I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. yeah, you take care of it. It's no problem. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The auto installed is really good. Like, it just dumps all the 2.2a maps straight into. Uh, oh, the, oh, you mean. Yeah, okay. I, I have them in a different way, but yeah, I see. Yeah, it just it does it in like a second. Um, all right, King. King's got it. <laughs> um, 
I was about to say something and now I forgot. Oh dear. Um. It's uh, it's it's all right that you know that that kind of thing happens when you get older, right? <laughs> <laughs> really? Like now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of should have should have known it was coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess that comes with the age. That's that's true. Right? Um, yeah, I was thinking like Stanley really likes his Aztec, and he still has Aztec in India available on this pretty aggressive map. It's not Aztec. Yeah, that's a good shout actually. Aztec. Especially because he has to pick for. Then again, like it's tough man if you have to pick. <laughs> Yeah, um, because it's a reset. Like everything is open. Yeah, I, I like. Um, oh, that's true. All right, so he's got all the sieves. Uh, oh, I'm lost yes. now. Who picks? Yeah, King picks first. Okay. Oh wait, yeah. Oh my god. What did you say about age? <laughs> I don't even. I don't. The, the, the annoying you thing is me this. Off, man. <laughs> the, this this is this is gonna happen like every series from from now on like any any cast i just i don't know who's picking first <laughs> okay okay so so okay so so king has locked france and france is i think that's always a solid a solid um first choice you you can you can never um hard counter france sure sure you can pick some matchups that maybe maybe you like stanley's decided that dutch versus france is one he likes i think oh no he's unready Ah. Yes. For example, this. Yeah, so. However, though, we were talking that this map is a bit on the smaller side, and I think that that lends itself more towards France. So, okay, on a bigger map, Dutch has a better chance to get all those banks up and running. But if King really wants to put the aggression on pretty early, he only has to send like his courier de bois, like, you know, 10 seconds forward and it's in the middle of the map and he can put down whatever he wants, a racks and a stable if he wants to do that yes. or he, or he can uh, go for just a, a standard cab semi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's... I th yeah, I, I agree with you. You can do both of these, but then again, both cases, I think, I think it's still going to be very tough because of what Dutch can do. Yeah, possibly. Um, I think I think it's pretty even though. I'm I, I I'm saying this is pretty even. It's definitely. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen that many matches. but I haven't seen this one. Uh, I think late on this, like maybe once or something. And I just felt it's going to be tough. Um, also, by the way, one of the reasons why it is going to be tough at some point is because the French guy is going to have to move around the map. Like, what we can likely expect here is maybe, maybe some crazy rush from the French guy, but if it's going to be turning into a semi-FF kind of thing in a fortress play, it just means that you won't be able to kill your opponent that quickly, I feel. And yeah. that means that you're going to need more gold than these two mines. And the next ones, if you look at the minimap, they are just pretty far away. So yeah. It's not I only was, that it's a far the map, but it's also a lot of walking time. Yeah, I was just having a look at the resources. Um, hunts are definitely better for Stanley, but the coin mines are definitely in favor of King. So, but I think it kind of evens it. I actually out, think that this we should re actually think it should be rehost. Like, look, Stanley right. has two two more next to the trading posts. Let's, let's let's not hesitate. We'll just go straight for the rehost. Better safe than sorry. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I I I think it's probably playable just because uh, hunts are better for one guy, mines are better for the other guy. But whatever, we'll. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, that, like, food is food is a huge thing, and yeah, I just I feel that it's you know, it, it seems a little bit too unfair. Like, there should be a hunt near a training post here on the bottom. If that hunt was there, then I would be fine with it. But in this case, no, no. just yeah. no. And uh, <laughs> King was fine with that. Had the sound bug, so uh, always a good opportunity for a uh, for a rehost. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that soundbag thing. I never have it. I don't yeah. know why it triggers. Either. No. No, it's. I'm telling you, man. It's, it's something that's made up by, by all these guys. Uh, you know, I, you I definitely agree. Yeah. They're losing. Well, it's I, like soundbag, soundbag. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to put it out by that. But I'm glad. He, I'm glad that you did. <laughs> that, that, yeah, that's my theory. There's, there's no soundbag. It's just, it's just something you type when you're losing. Yeah, you have to get to some excuse, right? We all know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna see. 
Uh, let me click on the right spot here. Um, so two one for King of Osman. Osman, Osman. What is it actually? Like he's Austrian. Like Christ, so disrespectful. Wait, what do you mean? King, oh, actually, to be fair, I have no idea how it's pronounced. <laughs> I was about to say, like, king, what's this? King, 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 king of Os Osman. I would Osman. say Osman is like the English Osman. pronunciation. Like a uh, yeah, King of Osman. You can also say oh, no. Osman. <laughs> And, I've no idea. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see how this map is. Uh, like uh, a really different map if you look at <laughs> I know, yeah, the hunts. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a very different hunt layout. Um, oh, yeah, hang on. You have even hunts. No, he's king. King's missing that one he's in front of his the... TC. They both got the top and bottom ones, but he's missing that one in front. Yeah, there's... Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I would have preferred the last one, maybe. Rehost again. You let them know. You oh what was it? It was the double wood star. That's why he's saying that. <laughs> double, oh, did he? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, just wanted that double wood rip to on the wood. Yeah, that's um. Yeah, that's definitely better start for. Fun. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, we'll see. So um, third time lucky. It was uh, proved lucky before. All right, I'm on the way. I am yeah, it's probably a connection from 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 UK to to the mainland here. So <laughs> they both are great starts. Do you think? Do you think at this point we're just we're just annoying them by like re restarting every time? Yeah, well, we could do yeah, this a couple of more that's... times if you if you want. I mean, it's fun, right? Let's <laughs> 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 just see at which, which point they're gonna flame us, and then. <laughs> yeah. I, might, I, might, I don't know if there's a rule in it for casters that even casters can only restart a map a certain number of times. Uh, are we limited? I don't know. Like maybe you are, but I, no, I'm not limited. You're not limited. <laughs> okay. It's all on you then. All right, let's have a look. What have we got? Uh, it doesn't sound well. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, know, I don't want to get too pedantic either, but um, I mean, so the thing is, like. Yeah. yeah. The third hunt for the pink player Stanley is further away. Yeah, he's he's got he's got but his fourth and fifth overall is closer, which was why I was hesitating. But his third is definitely further. Yeah, but then again, he has two decent hearts. Like. Yeah, it's it's also a, not a two hundred wood start, so maybe that evens it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking like the third hunt for for the for the king is on the left. And let me pause for a sec. Like the only thing is that it is shielded off by the cliff, which makes it a pretty safe hunt. Yeah. Shall we just what? read just to be sure then? Or uh, yeah. I feel that well, he's still put... good hunts like Stanley. Yeah. Well, you gone and paused it now, haven't you? Yeah. Well, you got to follow sure. through on your. Okay. Just, just. just yeah. Just, sure. just one more. We're probably getting too pedantic. It's probably fine, but. Uh... Yeah, what what great show. <laughs> we could roll with it. I mean, it's 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 probably fine. It's probably fine. We're we're being too overconscious. That's what it is. All right. We'll rematch again and annoy everyone. See, though, this is the problem. As soon as you restart once, like, yeah, you feel compelled I was about to, to say restart exactly again and again and again and again. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Because you've, you, you've set up the pressure, like, you've so you've restarted like three times, and so now, like, the players are expecting, like, the perk. Yeah, you want to get a perfect <laughs> map out there. I do remember this one from the, the, the tournament, like, what was it, a year ago or something, the Invitational. This map is what we had problems with every time. The other ones is it. fine. It's always this map that, that's, that's fucking up, man. It was just annoying. Yeah. But let's hope it's going to be uh, be fine this time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm sure it will. I've got confidence. Yeah. Yeah. See there, there's the there's the flaming man. They're already annoyed. Now they're gonna throw stuff I, stuff to us like uh, this. I, I didn't I didn't see it. I only joined afterwards. What what did he say? Uh, he said uh, Wicked is gonna sort out all the wrecks, 
with the XD behind it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Watch this back later on stream, then you will get a better laugh at it. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, um, yeah, fourth, uh, fourth try here. Right, come on, where's this minimap? I'm looking at the minimap. Oh, f God damn it. Is that? That's bad. That's worse for Stanley than the last one. I don't know, man. That's straight up worse for Stanley. Yeah. With... Yeah. Ah. Oh, he's missing the third again. The, the, the thing is, because we restarted four times, like, we can't play this now. Yeah. It, 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 it's it's his mine, man. The hunt should the hunt should have been exactly where this mine is. That's why why it messed up. I'm not typing it though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> no, we, 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 we I agree with you, man. It's not good. Like they they see this themselves. Like they don't want to play this anyway. So. I mean, we want to have a good game, like right? like you said before. It's high level games. Round of sixteen, we are. For anyone, by the way, tuning in later or not that familiar with what's going on here, apart from the trolling that we are doing currently, uh, we actually want to get uh, a good series for you. So, we just rehosted to make sure that the map is fair regarding resources. <laughs> and um, uh, this is the ESOC Spring Tournament, uh, round of sixteen currently. So definitely keep an eye on uh, on what's going on. The bracket link, maybe someone can post a bracket link in the Twitch chat because I've seen some guys asking what's going on. Yeah. I, I, I tell you what, I, I hope this map isn't in the finals because can you imagine the, like, the two casters that have got to be um in and ah in like, the finals match? Is, yeah. is, this, <laughs> is the resources okay for this? Yeah, that's gonna, especially if it's like 3-3 or something. And then <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, last, last map, yeah. <clears throat> right. Getting ready to look at this mini map. Um okay, so it's bad for both of them? Does that make it okay? Equally bad. Yeah. I, I say yeah, uh, I say this is uh Oh wait, is King uh, wait, no, Stanley's got an extra one. Uh, oh wait a second. Wait he has three. It's he's he's no, got he's it, got it, the one at the Nah, this is, look at this, the, the, his third is here, can you see this ping, right? That's the third for Stanley. And the th Wait, he's got he's got this one yeah. and this one, is that right? Yeah, but this is the second for, for King, and his third is that one, or oh, actually is it too far, let me see. Nah, this is her the board, right? That's the same distance as this one, the second for Stanley is the same as the second, right? It's, it's for me it's like, town center to her, is one screen, yeah, this is a different screen. I think it's... Um... I, I, I don't like it, but maybe we should just go with it or else we'll be here all day. No, I think this is... What do you reckon? You reckon it's re, re No, I, I think this is... You reckon it's okay? Uh, okay, it's slightly better for staying with it. <laughs> yeah, I, okay, let's, let's, let's go with it. I'm not entirely comfortable with it, but um, I, I don't know if we're going to get better spawns if we keep re it. Yeah, that's rate. also the issue, like this, this map. I mean, they have... The, the, wait, just this is hurtable, right? This doesn't get b back hurted, right? No, that. But look that's, at this. If I, if I look on my screen, look, I, I have now this hunt on my screen. The town center on the right, it's basically the same. Like the distance is the same. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> this, this, this is descended into chaos. Yeah. So the hunts are better for Stanley, but um, I guess. I think I they're only marginally better if, if like. Yeah. All right. All right. Let, right. Back. Back to the game. I reckon. So Stan, Stan, Stan slightly, got, uh, slightly, slightly. he got 90 food uh, yeah. in age one, so he's going to be feeling pretty good about that. King's going for 60 wood himself. Um, his 60, 60 food. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, 60 food. So he obviously got something else. And uh, I'm curious to see if we get the same situation, like that, that King is going to wrap around the back here and come to the treasure. And I don't have the taunts installed. Hmm. What's, that's what? good, because it's... Uh, it's it's, oh, it's, it's interrupting my train. Yeah, it was interrupting my train of thought, but that's fine. So um, yes, yeah, Stanley was uh, maybe risking it a little bit for going for this treasure, but actually, he does put his explorer back in quite nicely. But, Sixty um, wood against is, uh... France. Sorry, yeah, yeah. It, against France, uh, this close to his base, kind of a bit risky to go for that, but it, it worked. Uh, why did he stop with the treasure? Did he? Oh, you see, you saw the scout passing, probably. 
I, I think yeah. I would have still gone for it. Like, I mean, is it is it lagging now? Yeah, just just a little bit. It was spiking, but um, hopefully it's over now. So, um, should have played in. Yeah, yeah, would have been would have been pretty smart. So um, yeah, both of these guys got this ninety food treasure scouted out in the north, and uh, that's a yeah, that's I think a pretty useful treasure. Yeah, I think the reason why why he backed off is that he saw the scout passing, and he probably wasn't sure yeah. where his hero was. So just like yeah, for the safe. Huh? We've also got another ninety coin on the top right. I don't think King has scouted this one, and I think Stanley maybe has, or he, he might come across it anyway, even even if he hasn't. Um, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure he has, and that's going to be really useful for that. This is going to be an easy so, pickup, yeah. Yeah, so so he can gather for his bank, and you know he's going to have that villain queue. Uh, no yeah, problem. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, of course, Stanley is already halfway aging up. We know Dutch aged pretty fast. He aged with 14 vil because he had the easy coin treasure at his base, I think. So that means 14 age up is easy without any idle time at all. Why yeah. is there three villages on the coin mine though? That should be definitely on on food or wood right now. You want to get your bank? Wait, how? It's uh. Yeah. What? So yeah, I, I think they should be not be like he he already queued up a vill, so they should be gathering food to get your bank as soon as possible. Your second bank. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. In the meantime, we have a trading post up there, for uh, for oh this is nice. Uh, the, he's building a trading post during his age up, and I'm not sure if Stanley like expected this so that he knew he had time, you know, when his hero was away. But he's in the meantime going for a 90 foot treasure. Yeah, oh, that's really nice. And yeah, so he's gonna pick that one up, um, pretty uncontested. Um, I'm most interested to see what King does when he ages up. He's still quite a bit away, but I, I feel like in this matchup, the France is kind of the guy who who selects the strategy, and then it's on Dutch to to maybe react and. Uh, <laughs> King is not fused within the... Uh, yeah, I, I think... Uh, yeah. By the way, we see that uh, King is hurting his hunts pretty good, as you see. He now has... So it's totally fine. He now has the hearts in his base. Stanley, on the other hand, is not hurting anything yet. Like, he really has to get... I think he actually hasn't even scouted this one. Yeah, that's a big issue. For and there's also one of the initial deers that run all the way over. Do you see that one? Like, the, the deer? Yeah. So he's um, missing that one as well. So he's going for the for the standard seven hundred wood build, uh, a bit more greedy than the bank wagon. But yeah, um, this is definitely I think the good good choice for his friends. Oh, very very stable though, like stable before the bank. Yeah, I think that could be fine just to make sure you don't get idle and you get your cav out. By the way, just a second. Oh, the bank is coming right after. Hmm. Uh, can you just tell me? I believe there's an option to uh, enable the fog of war per player, right? How do I do that? Uh, I have no idea on that one. Wicked. <laughs> I thought you came prepared here. <laughs> No. Really? Yeah. Um, there is a way. Maybe someone in the chat can let me know later because I want to see, like, you know, if the hurts, if, if he scouted this one or not. Yeah. Was something um, with it. So, so Stanley, an experienced Dutch player, he knows how to build a base, uh, getting the banks, the houses, the market up, the stables. They're all kind of forming this nice wall. Even got the extra house coming down as well. So, um, it's just just getting a, a, a good position in case King decides to put on any more aggression. Um, it would, as as you were saying, that would really be nice to have, for him to have that second hunt, and and I think kind of that might be his major issue at the moment. He's yeah, so he's even getting a fourth bank out. So. Um, he might have to cut a few Hussar to get this. Uh, I'll be surprised if he gets five Hussar out. We'll have to see how good his, his macro is. Um, but King only gets three Hussar out, so it, you know it does it doesn't matter if uh, wow. Stanley doesn't get this full batch. Out. Oh yeah, the second TP. Three. That's why I think. Yeah. But actually, yeah. Stanley good like, should get more than three. I think he gets four or five. Yeah. Let's see, he has he has four in Q now, and he has uh, yeah it's gonna yeah he has five no problem. That's because Ooh, of the ninety foot. Look where these three Hussar are going, very slowly. They're edging their way yeah, across yeah, yeah. to um, a villager, yeah. <laughs> nice. So, wow, look at so, that timing. By the way, look at how funny this, this, this plays out. He is actually going to the hunt, which we identified as his fourth hunt. Yeah. So instead yeah. of taking the other ones, he is taking that one. So, so this one in the back has been completely Yeah, he, he never scouted one. That's actually very unfortunate. Like, But I don't get why he's not even trying to hurt this one. Like, If you look at where, where, where King was working from... It's quite similar distance. Anyway, um, oh, he's yeah. I, I I think at this point he's fine to. Uh, he's content to stay on five hussar and then maybe yeah. age up himself. So he's actually got the eight pikemen. I like that stuff. actually. Yeah, I like that because of the two TPs. Like you know, you can maybe make something happen, and if you won't make something happen, it's because the other guy makes musketeers, and that means that you will be faster to age up anyway. So you you will be able to. Uh, yeah. Um, to work from so there. 
this is kind of a risky fight for for both players. Um, I don't know. I don't know if the eight pikes or the five muskets is is better because um, King King's hussars can die really really fast to these pikes if it's not well controlled. But St- Stanley doesn't uh, is a bit careful because he knows King might have reinforcements on the way that and Stanley's not going to have. He knows he won't have any because he's actually going straight yeah. to the age up. So even though the fight could have gone okay from. Well, Man, because it's it's six resource, I wouldn't take it. If it was five resource versus with the musk, I probably would would take it just because pike men do better here. Yeah, it's yeah. I both guys are pr- pretty unsure. They don't they don't want to they don't want to risk it really because they they don't know if, if someone else has got more units on the way. Yeah, um, K- King himself has actually stopped uh, making units as well, so he's on the way up. Yep, and Stanley is already aging like he's one quarter up. And by the way, if you think of this like the next step. Would you rather have your eight pikemen left, or would you rather have your few musk left? Like who, um, trading, who would who would be, like even if you trade like slightly worse, who would you prefer to be the? I think I think it would still be fine for Dutch just to get rid of the pike and get rid of the hus. Yeah, but both of these units do become a bit redundant in age three. But um, again, nice uh, position on on the native scout um, at least for a bit here. Uh, King did get to see where Stanley's hus and pikes were before they moved down a bit. Um, again, checking checking that hunt up top. Uh, he's just going to see. I think the market will see him coming, though, so he's got to yeah. be careful not to get caught. It's funny, by the way, that now King of Osman even scouted Stanley's other hunt. Yeah. And not <laughs> is, is he going to... Can he get out of here, though? Because like, Stanley's yeah. going to try and cut him off. And the, 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 this the is a nice one. narrows a bit. He's in yeah. trouble. With the pikes and probably some writer on the way in production as well, I think. Uh, he's he's going to get the snow. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, that's not actually nice. Fast. He leaves one behind really, really fast. Okay, but look at this. The writer's wow. blocking it off. Oh. He's just taking a veil down. He knows he's going to lose everything anyway. He might as well kill something. Yeah. He might yeah. even get two veils, actually. Yeah, he will. He Look needs to get that second veil. He doesn't pull it away. I think that is actually not even that bad of a trade, to be honest. Two yeah, it's yeah, close, of course it's not. Close. He, he uh, did lose. He lost four, four like, house, I think. Oh, wait, no. I think it was, it was six house. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. No, my mistake. Yeah, he lost everything. Okay, now then it's definitely That's, not worth it. Yeah, 1,200 resources. <laughs> Look at these, by the way. These musk in the middle, they're going to get caught as well. And now it's actually interesting because of this kind of like too greedy raid for the SRs. He is going to lose his trading post in return because the pikemen are still alive. The skirmishers can just combat the other skirmishers. Yeah. And the right to deal with the goons, and he's going to lose his trading post. And that's going to be really huge, because the two trading posts is what keeps Dutch, I mean, uh, French in this game, I feel, versus the little bit of the eco advantage of Dutch. Yeah, uh, really nice by Stanley to immediately move out once, once he's taken down those hussars. He knew he, he even known he had a big military advantage, so he's, he's going straight out, um, catching those five extra muskets from King as well. It's pretty big. Gets down a TP as well. So yeah, um, but, despite losing two bills, he's going to be feeling pretty good. Yeah, though if you consider like the spots they're both in regarding infrastructure, we see that uh, King of his main has now two rexes up, so he will be able to outmatch Stanley Hart oh, because no. he doesn't even have one rex up. Oh no, look where all these bills have gone. Is he getting... Is, is Stanley going to see him? Is he going to pull down just before he gets there? It's so close. The houses yeah. are going up. I don't think he sees him. No, he doesn't. Okay. Uh, no. That could have been very And bad. actually, where is his scout? Well, he probably got, the kid envoy probably got killed earlier. I would really like to see him bring his hero back. Like, just send one house. It's going to be a 500, 620, sorry, HP uh, tank. So, I would really like to see him saving that. Yeah. So, I, I think Stanley was just checking the hunt there. He wasn't actually uh, looking at the coin situation. Just, just having a look at the hunt. Um, but he's he, he's kind of got map control at the moment. Um, they're both sent unit shipments. We got nine Reuters uh, for Stanley, eight Skelms for King of Osman. It is, by the way, uh, yeah, Stanley has his Rex on the way, just so he can try to catch up a little bit, because it might just come down to a skirm war. And like, if if King of Osman, the, the interesting thing here is this, like King of Osman did his, uh, sent uh, 1,000 wood, so he did the second gold upgrade as well. So if he is mm. able to hold out long enough, his economy is probably going to be better than the four banks of Stanley. Yeah, and we got a pike memory down to the bottom. He's gonna look to get that TP. That's not gonna go down. Um, Stanley's gonna send them back. I was, I was wondering if he was gonna use them as a distraction, maybe, and uh, why King of Osman's whole army is down at the bottom. He's gonna push into the top. Yeah, is a is a, a bit yeah. slow, but he's this is nice. Down. Exactly because he also is adding the Hussars, so it means that he will have the upper hand in this battle, especially now that the guns are away. Yeah, he's, he's he so, killed one so bills. close to seeing all these bills at the top, but um, he's just missed them. So, I, so he I will kill two bills barely. No, whoa, look at this! He didn't finish off the bill. That's a mistake there. But by the way, look at this! How many shots it eats it, it takes just with with no even not no uh, no no great coat. It still yeah. <laughs> took like two uh, two rounds of fire. Resist. 
I, I, either way, though, it was a nice idea by Stanley with the, with the pikes using them as a distraction. And yeah, he's got he's got them going in again. again. Like, uh, why I not? wonder. I, I, do you reckon he's going to pull the same the same trick again? I think like, I th- but the problem is like uh, King knows that if he's going to send his goon again, he's now going to get trapped, especially because of the cannons. So you probably won't risk it, and that means he's going to lose his TP. I think maybe he's going to get like five skirm popping out soon that can deal with it. Yeah, the, the, so the thing is, because King's ship, these two Falks, were very, very, very powerful units, but it makes him so unmo- unmobile, yeah. so now he's sending every- He's sending his whole army back, and this is why he's, oh, this, Stanley has no idea what's going on. He, he must have scouted the hunt, like, he should know that there's something going on there, right? Yeah, yeah, um, not taking advantage of it just yet. Um, he has to play it careful, these two Falks could definitely... Uh, where, how many skirmishes does Stanley actually have? I'm just looking around for. His, okay, they were hidden in all the sassars. I, I knew I knew he had some, but that they they reveal themselves. But, yeah, but it's 13 yeah. versus 33, so the poking war is not going to be something Stanley yeah, wants to yeah, wants to work. Yeah. But um, I'm I'm really worried for him because I feel that he is just he's just wasting time in a way because the, the, the village account. I mean, the economic unit population is 44 versus 41, but he has more upgrades. The French guy yeah. is so um, he he will be ahead, Nico, with the second coin one. Possibly King is unprepared for the number of. Oh, okay, he got an extra batch of goons out. I was, I was yeah, concerned that enough. King might be unprepared for the number of hussars. I actually Stand, think, I think that the idea of adding hussars was good, but he waited too long, and now too there's just too, yeah, many yeah. there's too many goons. Like, how are you going to deal with this? Like, there's too many goons, cannons. Oh, Falks, are they going to get a shot off? The hussars get a good angle, but yeah, the angle is so nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the Falks may be able to. The, the goons will get on the Falk. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, uh, one fight does get shot off, the second one... Oh, this no, is actually yeah. uh, the, the best fight he could have hoped for. Look at this, the cannon's not even shooting, they're packing again. Uh, the, wow. the goons melted as well. There was yeah, because, yeah, of, yeah, because like goons are pretty good for his scav, but not if you keep them in, in melee. Like They take quite some damage, and he was focus firing with the skirms as well. The, this uh, is still going pretty well, actually, and surprisingly well, to be honest. The the trees really helped him, uh, King of Osman out there a bit, and um, the Curie the Blind now getting involved a bit, so... Um, Unless Stanley's really on top of focusing the shots. Yeah, he, he should use the skirmishes on the goons a little bit more here, I feel. But still, he is doing pretty decent damage. I mean, th- this was definitely a good fight for him. I thought it would be way, way going way worse, you know? Yeah, yeah, those goons really melted uh, early on. Uh, yeah, uh, King, King skirms count. Skirm count has gone down too. Exactly, because right now they're both on 16 skirms, so that's even. And if now Stanley wants to go for the skirm war again, he has the cards in the third age and second age, so his skirms would be better in the long term. Yeah. But we see a three courage uh, shipment here. He, of course, he saved the trading post, so he has still some more shipments uh, on the way. Oh, it's actually not a shipment. Sorry, he just made three cores. Yeah, it looks like they're going out on a raid as well. Uh, they've they've been uh, carded as well. We we got cavalry yeah. combat for both both players. So those Ooh, players he's looking. He's losing a lot of. Not not watching there. That's. He's probably kind of figuring out like where is he going with his vills to what coin mine. He wow. should be knowing that he's about to run out of this mine as well. And I c- imagine just a five or so raid here. By the way, big, look at this on the right side. Reinforcement batch of uh, nine hussars. Yeah, K- well, he's going to need to scout. He has no line of sight though. Like I don't get why you wouldn't make like one house there up front just to make sure that you get anything coming in from the side that you get a view on that. But. Then he again, doesn't have enough goons. He doesn't he exactly like he's just gonna take the fight up front. Like he doesn't even care if the crews are raiding. If yeah. he can target down the goons, like the vills are gonna be brought in to to tank some extra and do some extra damage. Yeah, but he, he, he has to build. Stanley is build. focusing down the goons with his skirms here. Look at that. Yep, yeah, um, there's still a large number of hussars left. Um, the kills aren't getting any, any damage done while this is all going on. Uh, look Stanley's at this though. Good at- Doing a good job focusing. But look at this, five more hussies, they will deal with the course if he watches it. But in the center here, like the villagers are tanking well, but it's just an overwhelming army from Stanley. Like 60 versus 25 po- 558 versus 20 military unit population yeah. now. And there we have it, GG. Well, I have to see that fight again, like in, in the replay, because that, that first fight, you know, that I, I didn't really feel it would go that way. Yeah, I, it looked like King had like, you know, 25 goons or something, and then suddenly there was 8 left. Well, I don't know what happened to them. I, I can kind of figure it out, like, if you think about how the goons are positioned, they were, first of all, on the right side. That's exactly where the skirms are, so even if you don't fully micro your skirms, they would automatically target the goons anyway. And the hussars, because he had a pretty decent number of them, were snaring down the goons, so they couldn't really run away that easy. Yeah. So there were a lot of time in in hand, like uh, close by the, the hussars, not micro that well. I feel I feel King could have done a little bit better with the micro there, but he was probably busy with the cannons, you know, getting the, the ideal shots off. And of course, there's only so much APM you can use. 
Yeah, that's that's the thing with the Falconets. Your focus is kind of always on them. And we, we did see them repacking, I think, once or twice during the fight. So, you know, he had, he had to babysit them a lot. And that's probably why a lot of the goons did now. Yeah. Um, I, I still think that the, the BO that King did with the, the Thousand Wood, adding the Rexes, getting, you know, like the gold upgrade and stuff, I think it's st still uh, something that can work for the Dutch. Because let me bring up the post game here. Stanley did outgather him. Oh, but you, oh, you see, that's because of the end, because of the villager fighting. You see that he was pulling ahead. Actually, for minute ten, his eco was better, and it was slowly like the disparity was 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 increasing slowly. Of course, he still has the issue of walking to the next mines, but it feels that he was was getting getting like in a better spot. And also, like imagine how the fight would have been. If he had, let's say, five cores in the fight with that calf card, they would have tanked so much. Like, the Hussars wouldn't even be able to snare his goons. That yeah. would have been huge as well, I think. Yeah, I've, I've been uh, pretty impressed with Stanley's Dutch, even in the uh, the the game he lost, the game one. Um, his Dutch has been pr pretty solid. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm also, uh, I'm going to be right back, like, 20 seconds. I'm going to restart my connection, so I'll, I'll give you a call in a bit. Okay, see you soon. So that means we are currently 2-2 in this uh, series. Um, so that is the Deciders game coming up. Best of five, of course. So whoever is going to win this is going to take the series and advance to the round of eight. And I believe we had King of Osman picking last. So Stanley has to pick... Oh, wait, you're calling me, yes. Hello, hello. Hello. All right, final final game uh, on Bengal. So two two. This is this. They're going to be feeling pretty nervous now. Yeah, I, I still want to get back to that that fight for for just a minute because the cannons. Not only did they get like I, I feel that King made made, made two uh, micro mistakes there. He pulled back the skirms, which allowed the Reuters to get closer in range to pick off the cannons. And the other one is yeah, just a tough thing, like microing your cannons is, is always hard because you have to do a lot of stuff at the same time. But they didn't get off that many shots, you know, like they were packing and then standing and then it was a little bit of a misclick perhaps going on, I don't know. But even if he had taken off like, even if he'd gotten like two shots on the skirms, that would have been uh, been big as well. But yeah, I'm, I'm so, so the thing is with um, uh, Skirmisher Jagoon Army against like Hussars, the strength is in kiting, but as soon as you ship the two falconets, you yeah. automatically can't kite exactly. you yeah. to protect the falcons. So, so even, you, even though you've got goons shooting hussars, the hussars are all doing damage constantly. It's, it's kind of, you have the unique shipments of the two falconets, which Dutch, Dutch doesn't have, but I agree, your mobility is so much, so much less, which is why I sometimes just prefer to, to stick to like Skirm, Goon, Kur, and then ship the cards, you know, the, the Kev combat, yeah, I've, and I've play it out that, that way. Um, I've heard that a lot from a lot of high level players that they, they don't like the, they don't overly like the Falconets for that kind of reason that it really takes away the mobility. You, you can't kite yeah. as much if you, unless you're just going to sit there and sack the two Falks. So. And especially if you, if you think of how this would have played out, like, um, if Stanley is active with his army and he forces a fight in the middle of the map, the cannons have to unpack. They have to be in shooting mode. Which means that Stanley can then straight move to the resource of the French guy further up north and he will have the advantage for a little bit of time yeah. because the cannons have to be you know, unpacked, guarded, etc. So if he plays this walk-around game just a little bit, that then yeah, mobility is really an issue. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite surprised, by the way, that King never shipped, uh, any mean, ever uh, upgraded his uh, his villager HP. Because oh, with I the range didn't, resistance, I didn't even notice uh, that. All oh, right, yeah, no, that would, have been, that would have been huge. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, anyways, looking looking forward to the uh, to the fifth game, Stanley's locked in Aztec, and yeah, it's um, one I, of his main issues. Yeah, yeah I, I, King King also expected this. I, he just messaged me saying, uh, but even before Stanley picked Aztec. When I was giving him the map, he, he typed it in chat. God damn it, Stanley's going to go Aztec now, or, or, or something to that effect. Anyway. <laughs> so he, he yeah. knew it was coming. Stanley. Uh, well, um, like like Japan is probably not going to be the best. Of course, uh, we have seen one surprise uh, from uh, someone versus Eric. Op Op Optimus. Optimus. Yeah, Optimus versus Eric. Some surprise. Be though I feel that 
uh, let's say it could have been played a little better by Eric if he, yeah, but he was caught off guard. It was a nice surprise. But anyway, like overall, I would say that the, it would be favored for Aztecs to take the matchup like that. So what does he have left? Ottoman doesn't really work without TP. Uh, you can go defensive Agar with India, or you Russia, can. But then again, uh, maybe, oh, no, he, maybe, maybe he does. lost that though, didn't he? He lost because um, we saw him counter Aztec early with the Russia. Oh no, wait, Stanley. I don't. It wasn't anyway, the third there game. Was, there was a Russian versus Aztec. Yeah, but that was that in happened. the first game. Oh, I mean, the first part. So before the reset, right? So he can yeah. still take it. Yeah, yeah. yeah but, he can uh, still but he won't want to now. I, I think I he think. might have to go to Dutch. Dutch, possibly. Well, this see, it's it's tricky. This is why he's taking time to think, right? Because yeah. there's there's no obvious. Because uh, I think like France and Germany can do okay, but then you need a TP. For oh those. yeah, Germany. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you have no TP. I like yeah. Germany versus Aztec as well. I think they're doing I do, pretty good. Yeah. I, I I would take but that. That is with the TP. TP there, yeah. But yeah, um, he put, so King plays a bit of India, and he did win the first game with India. So I think that's a good shout. Yeah, but that was India versus uh, British. No, wait for Dutch. But but still though, it, uh, oh, King, yeah, Dutch, King's yeah. pretty, he's pretty competent with India. Yeah, but keep um, in mind that it was India with the Agra forward, and if Dutch plays it correctly with the Nate, uh, with the scout and the hero, he should be able to block the Agra from India. Sure, but um, it's th this is a different matchup, right? And uh, King, I, I think he oh, sorry. could go to the <laughs> India. Yeah, what, wait. There you go. See, look at that. <laughs> God, what are you on about? You know, I was going on with the Dutch stuff and I was just I thinking, You're like talking right past me. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so, Sue's kind of re a pretty reliant on trading posts just as France and Germany are, but um it's it's certainly been underplayed in the tournament so far, perhaps due to its strength. So it's it's kind of hard to say on it, the balance for any Sioux matchups, just because we haven't seen them as much. Who knows? Yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty pleased that I called the Indian there. Like w when you go for all the sieves and realize like what you can and can't pick on this map. Like looking at Germany and France, they're kind of ruled out. And like in, I think India is the choice he kind of had to go for here. Some people. Yes. Uh, I mean, I can. Yeah. Yeah. Probably gonna be. Yeah. So uh, King King probably a bit hesitant to uh, quit there on the 400 would start. So, but uh, yeah, we need to get the game recorded. So uh, do this properly. But um, yeah, I'm just. Uh, I, I think what we can expect from this is just the the defense of Agra. Stanley's going to take he's going to take the map, and um, we'll have to see if he overcommits at any point or or just stays uh, looking to contain King throughout the rest of the rest of the map. All right, uh, get get on in here. Yeah. This, yeah. Well, I, I, was, I was just thinking, this is like the must be like the thirteenth game we've actually launched in this series, even well, though we've only had like. Are the wrecks saved? Or are only like nine? Uh... I'm only casting, man. I'm not playing. Like. <laughs> It was pro it's it probably worked out perfectly actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's probably nine exactly. We'll we'll just <laughs> yeah. go with that. I like I like how confident you're saying that. Yeah, yeah. I think Well I <laughs> we, we, we we don't have we don't We, we, we haven't got a fix for that, so uh, we're, we're going to go over it anyway. But um, King, King's going to be pretty happy when he looks down and sees that he's still got his forward crates there. So um, that would be nice for him. Um, Aztec can still make use of use of the wood if he wants to go for a market maybe early on. But um, 
it, it, it favours India a bit more having this uh, specific crate start. And he's, interestingly enough, he sent out both elephants at the same time. I, I guess that's just because, um, well, he sent them out together. And I guess that's because you get a lot of those big uh, 100 food treasures or big wood treasures. So, yeah. That's, yeah, that's that's a real tough one. Ideally, um, in general, uh, we've been seeing players less and less get treasures in their base, and that's just because you want to get out on the map, find those big treasures early on, and then and then you want to kind of circle around if you like time it right. But it's always awkward. Like you usually end up coming back a bit too late for the fifty wood to be useful. So it's yeah, we got a hundred. It's it it's it's a tough call. Like um, I I don't think there's a, a right or wrong answer. So, yeah, because like he's gonna come across this hundred food with both his elephants at the same time. However, Stan, I mean, is Stanley gonna come across this hundred food as well? No, he, he just he turned down, but he could carry on. Oh, King King is he hasn't got the second stun. He didn't get the second stun, so his elephant's taking way more damage than it should. <laughs> anyway yeah so um that's a, that's a huge 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 blow to um king he, he, he backed up straight away didn't want to lose the, the elephant there and i guess maybe this is where now he could he could go for the 50 wood he's still kind of scouting around with both of them at the moment uh picked up a couple of yaks which would be nice but i i think he could have got more yaks as well but that's just the result of him keeping both his elephants together and, and choosing to do that instead of splitting them up and uh, Stanley gets the 90 wood. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah. Uh, still both uncontested. Uh, however, Stanley is on the way over there. Uh, oh, he's just, he's just checking just in case King's maybe idled some of his elephants there, healing them up, looking to get it. Um, but he doesn't see the elephants, so he's going to go for that. Meanwhile, King's stuck getting coin treasures. Which you, you you don't want to be picking up a forty coin with as India really, but I mean he's he's had to just because of the because of the hit points. Possibly. Sorry, you know. Yeah. Um. He, yeah. He could have taken the eighty coin, but his elephant's so low it hasn't had a chance to heal up. That if Stanley did come across it, then. You know, so it's it, it, it's kind of a gamble. Um, Stanley's coming in at the right time with, with his uh, <laughs> little uh, crew just to see the aggro going down. He's going to go down with three bills. Oh, it's walking across. There we go. They're getting to work now. Oh. But um, immediately scouted by Stanley. So Stanley's going to get the exact timing on this. Um, he's aged up. Pretty nice time. Warhut going immediately down as well. So no idle time on that whatsoever. And we can see it back at his base. Yeah, good point. Um, I was just gonna say he's got six villagers on coins, so we, we kind of got an idea of what what composition he's gonna go for. Yeah, he's he's gonna make those pumas and then use the mace shipments. But I feel this is just the best to do. Like some people, <coughs> how's that? <coughs> sometimes. <laughs> I, I <laughs> actually sometimes got a cough then. <laughs> <laughs> no, but some people have tried the coyote. Thing. Yeah, so um, age one went really, really well for Stanley. But I, I, I do like these walls, even though we've seen Pumas take down buildings so fast. Even just uh, an extra, if, if that nets King an extra single volley, you know it's going to be so useful. E even the um, aggro is going to be firing. Maybe even the town center could be in, in range at various points uh, on, on the wall. So he's got, he's got all that going for him. Yeah. Well, 
I, I think his first batch is probably going to be sepoys, yeah. which is probably okay, and that's only just because of his um, villager distribution. Uh, little freeze there, but yeah, I was just having a look at his villager distribution. He's correcting it now, but he has a lot more on food. Anyway, Stanley's coming in pretty aggressive with these five yeah, pikes. I'm now. not sure what I'm uh, like. Brave, like, what is he doing? <laughs> Getting some scouting, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, he he uh, yeah, he got a bit of a scout in, took, took an aggro shot. But here we got them. Um, the ten May shipment has arrived. Four more pumas are sprinting across to um, come up with their mates. Yeah, the they are fast, man. Well. These little ones. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. And they're going to go straight straight on this wall. And we'll see how fast this wall is going to go down. Yeah, it's going to go down so fast. Yeah, that's uh, what I mean. Like, if he positions his mace correctly, well, he's making Gorka then, yeah, that right? Yeah, yeah good, so. good choice. But look how fast it yeah. goes down. And these mace just come straight in. I actually yeah. think that... Oh, he, he had, oh, wait, he does. He didn't do the 300 export BO. So he has no consulate, so no madman. Yeah, um, he's getting that town centre fire going a bit, and yeah, I think he he absolutely uh, needs that. But this that. is I... huge. This means that Stanley can just keep on sieging because there's only going to be like uh, five uh, sepoy shipment after, and he's going to make five sepoys. Uh, there's no, yeah, it can be camels, but it doesn't really work here. Yeah, but this this aggro's going down. Right? Yeah, exactly. He, he can't save that. He cannot save that at all. So he's going to need to start building things in the back of his bases. Con consulate's going up right now. By the way, look at this hero. How much he keeps the Gurkha busy there. And now he's adding some coyotes, which I like, because he just sees, like, okay, you got no sepoys, like, I'm just gonna make some coyotes right now, while I see Jiragra down. These these elephants, though, by the way, that those 10 mace that uh, took, yeah, they took a lot of damage was from the two Ellies and, uh, and uh, Agra, and they've all, almost gone down. Um, five five sepoys coming yeah, in, he's gonna I, need that. I don't like this five sepoy, I would have rather like see, uh, <clears throat> would have rather liked to see the, the, the nine maces just to keep up the pressure versus the sepoys, but... Yeah, he's still um, doing doing a lot of work. Like he's gonna take out another house. He still has a few maces left to work on the sepoys. It looks like. Yeah, the the maces are pretty low, and they're, they're all kind of going down, which is gonna make these five sepoys a lot more. I think a lot more useful. Yeah, I think after the house, you should just go back and wait for the nine maces. Like, look at how much damage he has already done here. Yeah, we got five more pumas coming in, and yes, Stanley's not Stanley's not gonna wait and uh, do any container. Even the six puma shipment coming in behind us. Um, so yeah, the thing is, he's, he's gonna have to be worried that he doesn't really have a big counter to these sepoys, but he's just got so much. Like there's there's so many units. Uh, more reinforcements coming. He's training mace. Five more mace coming. So yeah, he's just got so much units. So many units. Yeah, he's not giving up any aggression at all. Like you say, I mean, he, he's smiling the victory, man. He, he wants to take this out. Like <laughs> king's popped. He's he's. he's uh, 31 out of 20 he's got a house coming up but even that's not going to fix it he needs another house but he hasn't got the wood he's on he's on 49 wood yeah this and the market's going to go down as well so he won't be able to trade anything also he's he's in trouble <laughs> he, he definitely is yeah so he's, he's still got the um he's still got one set of minutemen and he actually does have enough resources to call it um he's got a shipment available he needs okay so he's um he can actually send a shipment now. He's finally. Yeah, but what are you got? What are you gonna send? Like four camels? Not gonna help here. Five Rajput, maybe. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, Rajput. <laughs> yeah. Rajput would be really good then. But yeah, I mean, Stan Stanley knows, like you know, the four hours. Uh, it's only maybe the four hours, and that's why he's just got a whole. Ton <laughs> Look of at he's only making pumas. Who's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like just yeah? But <laughs> okay. Yeah, Ex Explorer revived. Um, I mean this. Oh, so so he's gone out of consulate, so the Minutemen are available. Uh, he doesn't have enough export though. No, he he's, doesn't. He's I was about to say, like, he can't get it. Oh no, he's, he he's on 180. He needs just a bit more. Oh no. I, I think this uh, king maybe needs to. I don't know. He's losing more bills. Yeah, he's, he's got no army. He's got. Okay, there's the man, man, finally. He's still targeting with his TC on. on... Eidmans. Now he said 300 export and he couldn't get it to use. Look at this, now he has 480 export, but he has no consulate left. Wow, GG. Well played to Stanley Winston. Stanley Winston advances to the round of eight. Really close series, takes it 3-2 over the over King of Osman. And Az yeah. Yeah, Aztec was a was a real problem for, for King in this series. Sta Stanley uh, really two, two well-executed rushes with the Aztecs. Exactly. Uh, I have to say that I really like the series. I mean, both played played pretty nice here. Uh, in in both cases, though, I feel that as King kind of points out here, he struggles with it mm. because in in both both series, to me at least, it seems that his build order was not the one, uh, not the ideal one. Like, look look at what what happened here. You ship six hundred wood, 
But then again, he made no stable, he made no consulate. Like, you can't really make a consulate because you don't have the export yet to, to do much with it. You can't make a stable, but then like, you get out two, three camels, doesn't really work anyway. That's why we've seen a lot of people uh, ship 300 export first, so you are at least safe with some management versus the pikes. And then it's really risky for the Aztec player to push in because there's the risk of the four camel shipment and, and maybe even uh, three house, I think, you can get shortly after if you skip the vills. So that's why a lot of people choose that, and I think that's actually a bad defense because like he just didn't have the units. Like you, you can see that the, the maze were shielding off, as, as we've said in the start, while in the back the pikemen were just slow, slowly sieging down the agra fort, well, and there's not much you can do with it. You, you, you say slowly, but if, if this series has shown me anything, it's how well, <laughs> the spearmen siege down. Well, I mean, it still it still takes like a minute or something, but yeah, they they have good siege potential. Siege, siege attack, yes. Yeah, like you, you have to play so, so crisp against Puma Spearman, otherwise if, if you're not like getting all, all your batches and, and the macro is not like perfect, which is really hard to do when you're you're under pressure from, from yeah. Aztec Rush that's like targeting exactly. all, all your buildings. They, 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 all the buildings go down so fast that you, I mean you just have to play it out perfectly. And that, that by the way, sorry, but that, that's also a huge a huge issue here because the Indian eco needs a little bit of time to you know to cut rolling, and all the time while Aztec is seizing stuff, especially this this fort. Let me bring up the uh, the XP total. Like boom, the fort goes down. He gets like basically one shipment, and that means that the Aztec doesn't have the best eco, but they just can keep rolling in shipments one after another. Yeah, and I, I, yeah, you yeah. I think to defend something like this, you, you really need to make a good use of the town center fire. And the, the thing was, I noticed when King got it going, unfortunately for him, the first few shots went on the, the Explorer. And I don't know if that was just because the aggro was just at that little bit too far away from the town center, just because it's such, you know, it's such a big building that actually he couldn't target the Puma the Pumas and, and what he wanted so a lot of the town center fire was going on the Explorer and I think it even hit one of the lions or tigers which is you okay know, that's not what you want well the, the tiger definitely not but the Explorer uh, the reason might be that he wanted to make sure that his Explorer couldn't slow down the sepoys and gurkhas with the maze behind yeah. it yeah, that's, so that's I, ca not. I can kind of get that you want to get that and also of course you deny the additional XP bonus so I kind of kind of see the reasoning in that but yeah the, the tiger was definitely then a wasted shot yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. You have to, of course, micro micro carefully. Which is, by the way, why sometimes in these cases I, I just like to shift click my TC to make sure that you know they one after another do what I want to do, and I can micro the rest of my units with oh, yeah. like manually. Yeah, just just shift click the entire army of the enemy. Well, I don't have that much APM at the moment. <laughs> the keyboard. Oh. Well, that can work as well. Yeah, and then you do tuck tuck tuck, and then you win, right? Yeah. All right. No, um, but yeah, this uh, this was a nice series. Well played by Stanley. Both actually well played, but yeah, Stanley was uh, slightly uh, showing his Aztec power here. It, I, I thought you were going to say it was slightly more well played. Both both well played, but slightly, slightly more. Well yeah, I like that one as well. <laughs> slightly more well played there from Stanley Winston. Anyways, uh, this second series between Nushabar and Saves of Skill, I think we should uh, try and hop hop into this one pretty quickly as. Uh,